Hello and welcome, Warhammer 40k fans! This battle report brought to you in part by Warhammer Combat Cards, the Warhammer 40k edition. More of that to come. Luca and Scar here from MiniWarGaming.com playing Necrons against the Adeptus Mechanicus in our battle report for today. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Warhammer 40k battle report. Now we're going to take a look at my Necron list first. It is the Annihilation Legion, one of the few detachments I have not yet played today. These are uh, This is the one that represents sending out the filth of the Necron Legions, the crazies, as we'll put it. Uh, we respect the enemy not at all, so we're not even going to send real warriors to go fight them. Uh, with the Annihilation Legion, it has a clear focus on flayed ones and destroyer cult models. So, with that, we have a Scorpac Lord, who will be our general, the warlord for today. You'll have the Eternal Madness Enhancement, the only enhancement I'll be bringing, and it'll be leading a unit of six Scorpac Destroyers into battle, to no one's surprise. I will have, leading with him, a Locust Lord with a Resurrection Orb as well as the Lord's Blade, joining a unit of Locust Destroyers as well. One unit of Heavy Locust Destroyers. I will be running the Admitic Exterminators on these Locust Heavies just to give them a shot. I, I tried them out last time. I didn't mind it. Got a lot of shots. I don't really need super big anti-tank firepower here. I find the Locust Destroyers do that well enough on their own. Plus, I don't like single shot weapons sometimes. The rest of the list will, of course, include two units of 10 Flayed Ones. Uh, I went a little heavy on the Flayed One points, but I wanted to give them a shot here. Or at least give them a lot of wounds to give them a shot. And then I had a few points left over, so I'll, of course, have the Tunneling Horrors in the form of Ophidian Destroyers. These are the crazies that dig underground and reappear throughout the battlefield. A lot of tactical flexibility with them. And lastly, two Hex Mark Destroyers, three Canoptic Scarabs, and ten Necron Warriors that are slowly succumbing to the Flare Virus, some of the last remnants of this list that are doing so. Everyone else is fully Destroyer Virus or Flayed One Virus. They got a lot going on. Welcome, followers of the Omnissiah. We have been at this planet digging deep, too deep, and we have awoken something nefarious. The crazies. Therefore, we have dispatched the Skitari Hunter cohort to take down the enemy warlord and bring back their tech so we can dissect them and disassemble the entire resurrection protocol of the planet. So, for this battle, I brought a martial warlord with the Kantic Thralnet, a martial with the Veiled Hunter enhancement as well, and an engine seer because I brought vehicles. Two units of 10 rangers, followed by two units of 10 vanguard, follow up the battle line. Two units of five infiltrators, 10 Fulgrite Priests to give me some close combat punch, as well as 6 Sulphur Hounds. 2 units of 5 Sky Stalkers with their crazy move, shoot, move stuff, which is going to be awesome. A Dune Crawler with a big Mega Cannon. 3 Dragoons with Taser Lances and a Disintegrator, not with the Adalai Sight Cannon, but with the Direct Damage Ferromite Cannon. And with that, Let's see if we can take down some filthy crazies. Today's mission will be a supply drop for the Adeptus Mechanicus here. Their supplies are inbound and they're trying to recover them. I'm trying to intercept them or in my madness, just kill everything, I suppose, and by and do that by that default. That would make sense, though. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll just accidentally intervene in the supply drop. Supply drop has players, after they figure out who's going to go first, will randomize two of the objectives in No Man's Land. Uh, the first one will be the Alpha, and the second one will be the Omega objective. Uh, that's important for the fourth battle round. So at the start of the fourth battle round, the Alpha objective will be removed. And at the start of the fifth battle round, all other objective markers except the Omega will be removed. So the second randomized objective will be the only one that lingers on the battlefield. And you will score, starting in the second battle round, five victory points for every objective you control in No Man's Land. That does change in the fourth battle round. It'll be worth eight per objective because there will be two. And then in the fifth and final battle round, the Omega objective will be worth 15 victory points to whoever controls it, as that is the supply drop, the predicted supply drop. Otherwise, the objectives in your territory do not matter unless secondary cards tell you otherwise. Both Scary and myself will be playing tactical objectives, naturally, and I always like to add tertiaries on to the end of the game. Uh, instead of the Painted Army bonus, if you've been watching my battle reports, you are well familiar with them. I'm just going to go over the names. It'll be First Strike, 
It'll be Line Breaker and Slay the Warlord. Those will contribute up to a total of nine victory points instead of the painted army bonus 10. It'll give the uh, battle report a little bit more interaction and a little bit more weight behind the Warlord. Hey there, everyone. Don't forget, if you want to come by and play some more games with us here at Mini Wargaming, well, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge for all the details. That's where you'll talk to Josh, figure out the plans, 40K, Age of Sigmar, old worlds around the corner if you're feeling like getting into that, Titanicus, Imperialis. We're playing all the games, guys. So if you want to come by and play with us, you know where to go now. We are in Welland, Ontario. It's near Niagara Falls, about 20 minutes away. So if you know where that is, you know where we are. I'll see you soon, and uh, I look forward to meeting you, or a familiar face, all the same. Also, at the end of the game, Scary and I had a post game. It was a damn good game. So if you're like watching through the game uh, and you want to skip ahead to the post game, listen, Scary and I talk ad mech and necrons for a little bit. By all means, we'll see you there. It's like a little 10 minute podcast, essentially, if you want to hear more talk and shop and whatnot. Anyway, otherwise, enjoy the game. It's coming now. The Adeptus Mechanicus have dug too deep, like Scary said. A beautiful table set up by Scary here. I hate setting up tables, so he took it upon himself to do it, so I always appreciate that. I always love uh, to pretend like I'm a child. And <laughs> I, <laughs> there's a studio full of stuff, so I get to bring my childhood dreams to life. <laughs> yeah, and it's a beautiful table. You obviously have a, a forward base set up here for the Adeptus Mechanicus, and it is now being assaulted by the Annihilation Legion, and it's being like worn down and the battle's now over here, essentially. So uh, we are playing on a, this is a six by four board table, but we're not playing with the last uh, foot over here. That's just for looks, the aesthetics of the game. Everything else will be taking place over here. Now we both have infiltrators, so whoever ends up putting things down first will be important because we both want that first, like initial <laughs> Man, drop. Man, ones are mean. I yes, don't the like ones are mean. Absolutely. They played ones mean. are very, very mean. I don't like them a lot. So we're going to be right back once we've deployed. But wait, we should probably roll off first. This is a very high tense clip. P four, six. Ooh, yes. powerful. Nice. Okay, at least I get to stop your infiltrators from coming like straight at me um, on one side of the table. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'll still get gonna, one down. I have two units of infiltrators. Okay, deployment time. All right, so we will be right back. Here, the Necron forces and the Ad Mech are lined up against one another. One of my favorite classic matchups between the two. And speaking of Necrons and Ad Mech, well, let me tell you, this battle report is sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards. It is a digital collecting card game available online. If you want to go check them out by going into the description down below, it is based on the old Citadel collectibles card game from the late 80s, if you ever dabbled in that back in the day. It encompasses all the factions of Warhammer 40k in it, and as 10th edition gets its new codexes coming out, well, you better believe those same factions will see updates in the game as well, with new leaders and units and cards available in general. And as you're viewing on Mini Wargaming, well, you better believe you've got a promotion code available to you if you're already a player or thinking about becoming a player. Go to the settings of the game and type in MWG as a promotional code. You will be awarded some Necron codes, cards, actually, and some credits and plasma to go along with it. Again, all this information will be in the description down below. And we got a reel to play for you guys from Warhammer Combat Cards. Roll it, Michael. Scarry and I are deployed here. It's a very aggressive game. We both yeah, have- Are you ready, Luca? Are you ready? Infiltrate. This first roll is going to matter a lot more than I than it usually does in my games, I suppose. Not really. I have a redeploy. Oh, fair. Okay. I make- <laughs> Two! Uh, one! Right. It flipped over to a one. It will be <laughs> Necron. So now that I know who goes first, because of my shadow operation enhancement, which is on my one warlord. One of your marshals, yeah. Yep. Oh, no, not on my warlord, my non-warlord. Oh, I get to pick here. three, basically, infantry units to, like, redeploy. Yes. And then we have scout moves. Do you have any scam moves? I got no scouties. Cool. Um, the one thing I forgot to mention about this mission is the scrambler fields built into all the major objective locations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. That's why we're not infiltrated on any one of them. You can't do any deployment shenanigans or reserve shenanigans and end within range of an objective marker. So that's kind of why we're here. Bye-bye. I'm just going to uh, hide. 
I'm gonna go somewhere I'm else. I'm gonna go not in front of some flayed ones. And then after you've done that, we gotta randomize the alpha and omega objective. Deploy. The I rust. could redeploy another unit, uh, but I'm gonna leave it as is and let you do your thing. Those are just infiltrators. The uh, yeah, yeah. infiltrators. Yep, yeah. They're both hiding back there now. I don't want to be anywhere near those flayed ones. Fair. Okay, well then you obviously had the right tools to deal with the flayed one rush. However, yeah. having last turn is going to help me with the whole alpha omega thing. So Correct. Yes. I'm I'll excited you, about Why don't you go ahead and roll it up? One, two, three on a D3. That'll be the alpha objective. The one that disappears turn four. So that one goes away on turn four. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. The one that remains. That one. That is <laughs> okay. the omega objective. Well, I got a bit of a trek from this <laughs> side of the board to that one. Yes. Well, we're so, gonna make it work. That one's disappearing on turn four. This one's disappearing on turn five. That one will uh, remain. Remain. Yes. Okay. Fair, fair enough then. First two cards I'll draw this turn or this game will be investigate signals and assassination. I did deploy one unit for investigate signals, but uh, which is not bad. I guess I wouldn't have any options anyways in assassination. Well, I just don't think that's gonna happen right away. But I can look at that as a command point. To show off the investigate signal, a unit of these guys are just going to fly over here and get that done. I don't have anything for this table corner, uh, nor do I have anything for Scarry's side of the board. So I'll give it two points and call it a That'll day. That'll be a good time. I'm going to do my Conquer Imperative. So it gives all my weapons the Assault special rule. And if Ooh. I... Yeah, so I can advance and shoot pretty much everything in my army. And if I shoot at anything that's within your deployment zone, I get plus one AP. Okay, so I gotta get the heck out of my deployment zone if I want to have a little bit more save, I guess. Yeah. Now uh, the other option is I give all my weapons heavy, right? And then anything that shoots me while I'm in my deployment zone is armor contempt. So I get minus one AP mm. against your your attacks. So I'm unfamiliar yeah. with the admec rules. This yeah. is your this is your army rule thing, I yes. assume. Yes, this is so, a doctrina imperative, which so, affects everything. So you pick one thing and you get one of the two effects, then? Correct. Can you choose that again, or is that a once? Um, I can choose, uh, no, it's every battle round, I just pick one or the other. Oh, it's only one of those they, two. They flip. Now, oh, I okay. do have, uh, so my Warlord, this one, has a special ability where he can give a unit within 12 inches the effect of the other Doctrina. So gotcha. I can have a unit in two Doctrinas with him around. All right, yeah. okay, all right. And then what's the detachment rule for this one, the Vanguard one you're playing right so now? So oh, the detachment rule is you my- You told me, but yes. tell So you the that. detachment rule that I'm running is basically all non-vehicle units in my army, except for the Fulgrite Priests, because they're not Skitari, will be getting stealth. So you'll be minus one to shoot them. And everything in my army, if you're further than 12 inches away, they will get the benefits of cover. So yes. it'll- be pretty handy. It's like a, uh, it's like a infiltrating force. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a hunter maniple, but they're like sneaky. Yeah, uh, apparently. apparently, they're like you know, <laughs> special ops. All right. Yeah. That's How do you not see or hear all the cogs? I don't understand. Well, they got the tech. Did they? Are they, they well oiled they, machines? It's deafening technology. <laughs> it just hides the noise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is uh, about it. We're both going to gain our command points in the first command phase here, being at one each. I'll show you the scoreboard and how we're going to keep track of all that. I don't really have anything to do with my command phase, so after I show that off, I'll go right to my movement phase. So just showing up the scoreboard here. Uh, this is a 3D printed tool available at the Mini Wargaming Forge. You can check that out right there. Uh, available in any colors or made to order, or you can just buy the STLs and print them yourself or paint them. You know, it's up to you really. When you can do whatever you want. We got other options there as well. Now I use this for 40K and Sigmar. Uh, for 40K, the top row are the uh, primary scoring, so the tens and singles. This will be secondary scoring, tens and singles for the drawn cards. And this will be where I'll keep track of tertiaries. I'll be player one, Scary will be player two. And uh, let's get this show on the road. Copy player zero. There is no player One zero. and zero. No, no, there's no. Bi there's it has to be binary. It's not even A or B. It has to be binary. <laughs> I'm not ready. This is Monday. I'm not ready for this nonsense. It's Tuesday. What are you talking? It's, it's Monday. Tuesday. Oh, whatever. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Come on. Tuesday. You even forgot the day of the week. Oh, well, I'm... Why don't you start moving stuff, Luca? Yeah, fine. I will. I'm going to do the exact same thing. <laughs> uh, things are going to move. Uh, where I want them to move? Well, I don't want to move near that because that's just suicide. So that you can have that one. I'm going to probably move on that objective, that objective, and uh, just... Uh, Call it, call it for now, and just give that one up. I don't want that. Uh, I'm gonna probably have my flayed ones. Uh, if I'm just gonna summarize my movement and show you how it's gonna go, these flayed ones are gonna hunker down over here, and then everything's gonna slowly, like a combat maneuver, this direction. We're gonna focus on this objective and that objective, and I gotta throw waves and waves of bodies at you while I score these, hopefully. Uh, these guys are going to do a normal move over to here. Boop. Just do investigate signals on this table quarter to get my two points. And, uh, because I don't really have any targets with them anyways. And then the scarabs, ah, 
The scarabs could also do it. I'll, I'll double check. I didn't really check the scarabs. If they can move over here and do it, they can move up. I might do that instead. Otherwise, everything's just going to shift up and I'll be right back. So I didn't really... I couldn't really get uh, anything on this objective here without having to put the flayed ones on it. So the flayed ones shifted over there to acquire some VPs, coveted VPs. The scarabs have no OC because there's no cryptex near them. Uh, these locust destroyers just moved up their eight. They're going to take uh, one guy's going to shoot at those walkers. The, I, the scorpion destroyers said screw it. We're just going to run right into the middle and get on that objective right there with the hex mark and the necron warriors behind. In hindsight, I should put the necron warriors out front. Uh, in this mission. That way they could have just gone for that. They could have gone elsewhere. This works too. These flayed ones uh, advanced and just are going to hug the building here. They didn't roll super well, but they want to be able to pounce on that objective later if it comes up. Just to do something with them. Or to, again, go up the enemy wherever I can. And uh, that's about it. Like I mentioned, these heavies went back over here to investigate signals. These scares were about an inch too far out of the range of it. They're going to do me some good up there anyways. I'm going to go to the shooting phase. The only things I have to resolve is they're going to start investigating this table corner for two victory points. And these Necron warriors are going to take whatever shots they can at the vanguard across the table. It's only a couple models, though, I believe. It's just these two models that are in two feet. So a couple shots, hitting on fives because stealth are both going to miss. And then these locusts are going to fire at the dragoons there, but I believe only one's in range. So we're going to fire just these two are within two feet of the Iron Dragoons there. Yep. And they have stealth. They do. They get stealth because they're mounted. No, so, no, no. They're, they have stealth as a rule. Oh, they, oh they're they just, they just yeah. have stealth. Uh, these are th fours to hit then, but they're on an objective they control. New rule for destroyers to get full rerolls to hit in that regard. That's hey. cool. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got three wounds there because they have lethal five ups with Very the Locust nice. Lord. I'm just going to reroll nice. everything. Get more fives. Uh, we got four wounds. That's eight. What's the damage on them? These are two damage each. These okay. are four of saves after everything is said and done. Four of saves. I take four damage in total. That's it. That's my turn. I got no cool. charges. I complete investigating my signals for two victory points. I didn't get first strike. Did some damage, but I didn't get first strike. And we are going to move on to uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus turn one. I'm going to get rid of Assassination to draw to get an extra command point. I'll be going up to three on Scarry's turn, and he'll be going to two. Well, no prisoners and secure no man's land. Seems like I'm trying to get into the middle of the board. Um, <laughs> I have to control two or more objective markers. Well then, that means that I'm going to have to engage those flayed ones on the flank, even though I don't want to on the far flank. But the other flank next to the scarabs, I was gonna engage them anyway. So let's just jump in and hopefully get some no prisoners while I'm at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my engines here. He's gonna pick the dune crawler and he'll give it a five up. Feel no pain. Okay. Yeah. That's what engine seers do now. Oh, we forgot to show the camera who the second, who the unit benefiting from both of these. This cameras. one is the unit benefiting from so both assault and us. heavy. Assault and heavy, and plus one AP shooting something in your deployment zone, minus one AP when you're shooting at them. Gotcha. Which okay. could be really handy with the whole being in cover and stealth stuff. Like it's, yes. I feel like this gives them a lot there. of staying power. Yes. I definitely. wish I could have a big twenty man unit. Not anymore, Games Workshop. Oh, there's 10-man squads? I yeah, see. Yeah, not Understood. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes, that probably doesn't need to be on a 20-man unit. <laughs> only Necrons, only Necrons can manipulate their big 20-man units. That's definitely okay. our thing. Take a look at the table, we'll come back. Yep, I assume rushing towards Yeah, me. so they can, because my all my guns are assault, I can literally advance my whole army and still shoot. Yes. Um, and then I do have a stratagem for advance and charge, so I'm probably going to use that on the Sulphur Hounds, and then I, they just have advance and charge. Built, built in. in. Gotcha. So I'm going to try and do some damage. I've got the Ferris guy, lots of three damage weapons. I'm just going to try and take down some Scorpex. This guy's probably going to be moving up and just move blocking and being, you know, a oh, bunch of go. wounds with a five up feel no pain. And then the whole army, I think, is going to shift except for one suicidal unit of uh, birdies, which is going to fly up this way. They can shoot and then they can move six inches after. Gotcha. So. Yeah. Make them work. Understood. Yeah. Understood. We'll be right back once that's done. Well, I've done my movement. Basically got everybody as close to 18 to him as possible because you can't remove him as a casualty. And so I can shoot him and not worry about getting out of range. Yep. He and wants to stay away from staying me. staying outside of 18 of him so he just doesn't get to shoot me. He might, he'll shoot one thing, which will be that thing, which is fine. I'm okay with this. Um, and that's that. They advance forward to get in and just charge into there. They advance forward. I'm going to spend a CP more than likely to charge with them as well. Because yep. I do have that. And then we've got a bunch of flamers and some pistols and then a bunch of guns that are probably just going to target. Now you have a couple of cool stratagems that allow you to be hard to hit and whatnot. So I'm curious to see how that works. 
Yeah. Are you ready to go shooting? I'm ready to go shooting. Do you know where you want to start? Yeah, we'll start there. They have all the range in the world. They're just going to shoot your... The um, score pack unit? Yeah, your score pack unit. I've got, of course, the transonic arc bus, which is a, a precision weapon. They also get the heavy, so they get plus one hit. And uh, as well, I guess before that, I get I'd use his uh, Overwatch strat on that guy. Yep, for free. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Because he moved first, so he would do the Overwatch here, and I don't. I was debating on Overwatching with them, but I just don't like the a couple hits. It's like not that big of a deal, and the rerolls won't come into play here. I'll get to reroll hit rolls of one, but I don't think that's enough to Overwatch over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do the Overwatch when that thing moved in. Six shots. He has a special rule to hit on twos when Overwatching. They all hit. Six, 11, toughness, fives to wound. We get one when he hit at minus two. Okay, cover, uh, two up save, goes to a three up. Boom, boom, boom. Nope, oh, one damage, five up. five up. Feel no pain, thanks to my guy. We nope. got a damage. Now uh, you can go to your shooting. So we're still into the locust. He does ignore cover with his pistol, by the way. Yep. Just uh, We just realized that. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot there into your score pack load. I'll do it anyways, uh, into the, uh, they have a strat, well, for one CP, the masks of death are so terrifying to behold that, you know, your arm strays a little bit, your shots aren't as accurate, all that good stuff. So like negative it. one to hit. Not stealth, but negative one to hit. Ignoring cover because they're on a spec, so right. just go pretty much right to hits, wounds, and saves here. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the arc bus first, plus one, minus one, hits on force. Nope. Uh, Reroll because of the marshal in the unit. Okay. So yeah. hits, strength eight. Um, no wound there. Next up, we got an arc rifle. Oh, oh, oh. Oop. Nope, it is heavy though, and a reroll, so that misses as well. Culver. Now the plasma culvert. So this is gonna overcharge. Uh, roll. Reroll, hit one hit, strength uh, eight, so threes, one at AP three. Should be a six up. That's a five AP three right through their Two armor. Damage. Yeah. Cover would have mattered, but it isn't there. Nope. And then you. And then two shots for each of them. That's seven, so fourteen shots. With their uh, from the arc rifle, from the galvanic. Rifles. Yes, the galvanic yeah. rifles. They're regular weapons. Fourteen galvanic rifles. Very nice. Should be back to fours. Yeah. Now, are they touching your deployment zone? I don't think your guys. I tried to get out of there. I don't think they're in there yet. Okay. They all ran out. Oh, the rerolls. Rerolls. Nice. A few more. Thanks hits to there. the marshal. We only got five to wound here. Five. Five. I see three. That's three of them. Boy, P on these, we're looking at three up saves. We're gonna make them all. Nice. One hazardous. For the plasma calver. He's a okay. He's okay. Oh. Next up, we have these fly guys. We got the flechette carbines. The sky stalkers. Ooh, you better watch out. Are they actually called flechette carbines? Uh, carbines? Yes. Oh, flechette I was right. Carbines. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. I just volume. Back. I might as well. It's not. They're not gonna do much, so might as well. Sixty shots. Uh, no, six times. Well, in all, no, because the sergeants have a. Oh, what 12 inch gun, and I didn't get within 12. Okay. So hitting on fives, though, because we are on minus one. Oh, they moved him. Oh, they're not doing the heavy one. That was only this unit. Correct. Add next stuff. And then sixes. Yeah. Sixes to wound. One save, please. One three up save. I'm just trying to kill that one guy. Okay, not quite. Uh, if they have a shoot and move. I am going to move them basically just to hold this objective yep. back here. If I don't deal with them, you'll get, they'll get your five points. Correct. Well, I thought it was one next giant unit. squad of ten. No, it's two units of five. Way better. Way better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For what you're trying to do here. And these boom. also need fives. So this is the second unit. Ah. Sixes. One more save. Oh, here we go. It's always just cool. really trying to get rid of that one guy. This is where I get to show something cool. So they can move six inches normally. Yes. But if they end wholly within six inches of a um, of a battle line unit, they can move twelve. Okay. There you go. Yeah. And you're planning to go to that side. Just quickly reposition from one flank to the other in a mere couple of turns. Yeah. I prefer the flamer ones, but uh, Josh doesn't own any of those. <laughs> Got the big tank to deal with here. I assume he's yeah. gonna put the three damage guns over here. And everything, I, everything's going. Oh, just into everything. That. I can't, yeah, he's got a lot of stuff. Because I got the phosphor blasters as well. Oh, they're Which uh, you have a guy with one wound remaining, so I'm gonna try and pick him off, and then I'm gonna shoot the big stuff. And it's basically a whole variety of different things as well. I have to stay with the cogniz. Hey, oh, good start. <laughs> Sustained as well. Look, uh, God. What oh. the? Woo! Heck? That's a roll. That's it. Sometimes you get the roll, you know. <laughs> He's just so excited to be put into an army list finally after so many years of gathering <laughs> dust. Look. He's like, please remember that I was good at one point, everyone. Uh, <laughs> straight four. So needing um, five still fives. Here. Yeah. Uh, so that's one, two, three this time. AP one? No, uh, AP zero on the Cognus Heavy. Get three ups, but oh, it kills Whoa. one fully. The big gun. It's just three shots. All right. Hits on fours. Now, if I was hitting a monster vehicle, I'd get plus one to hit. Okay. Which would be really cool. It's not heavy, though, sadly. Um, and that's it. All right. Okay. On fives. So on fives to hit. Okay. Nothing. And then we've got the... 
Disruption Missile Launcher, which are also three shots. Oh, that's on the front of it. That's right, yeah. One hit. Very nice. Strength right. nine. Three to wound. And it is twin linked, okay. which is kind of handy. Nope, two twos. Not today. You still slay one, though. And one's overwhelmed by the stubber shots. And then this guy will go down to one wound there. That's I like cool. it. Tokens going up there. Next up, more rangers. More rangers. They did advance, and because I'm assault, I can just advance and shoot, which is exciting. I think this guy's part of this. Oh, yeah. They won't get the heavy trait, but that's okay. I'm gonna start with the galvanic rifles to try and get that one wound off there. Four, oh no, actually 16 shots because they don't have an arc bus. Oh, okay. So five to hit. But rerolls. However, I do get rerolls, which is exciting. Now, most mech armies just based around breachers, which is completely fine. But I don't mind running. I just wanted to test something different. Sure. Yeah, know, I did try the breaches. I know breaches are good. Yeah. I like the technical aspect of a lot of this stuff. Four more armor saves with uh, no EP, but they do ignore cover. Threes! Ah, uh, fail the one to kill a guy, and I take one more damage. Okay. I'm up next. And I will overcharge. Yep. Hitting on fives Ooh, with a reroll. And then wounding on threes. Hey, that's one good. One at AP three. I need a six up here. Ooh, that's a fail. That's That'll a be dead two guy. damage. Yep. And then roll up the hazards now before we forget. Oh, yep. Yeah. He's good. fine. And then we have the arc rifle. Uh, arc thing. One shot, but rapid fire. Um, miss. Uh, miss. Three roll. Re hit. Hits. Very nice. Uh, wounds. Uh, sorry, does it wound? Uh, maybe. This guy is dead from the plasma earlier, and I failed that save the on the arc, arc rifle. The arc rifle does D3, Ooh. which would just be one. Um, oh, see, no, that's fine. That's fine. This guy I'm not going to. And we're going more little guns. The Vanguard over here, and then we got some Vanguard over there to resolve. We'll do these All ones right. first. So I'll we'll do the Vanguard first. Same I do target. have a Plasma Calver. And so the Plasma Calver will go first. He uses it on fives with no rerolls. He will be overcharging, though. Nope. Does he kill himself? No. Nope. Okay. Then I'll do the Arc Rifle as well. No, and then I do everybody else. All the radium. And all the radium guns. That's right. Five. On fives. In retrospect, I should have put my marshals in these units. Because yeah, they have anti-inventory four plus, yeah. which actually would be really handy to have. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Like that. There's six saved. All three ups. Yeah. And fail one. Uh, and a one, and then we got the oh, second five. squad resolving the same shots. Yeah, yeah this way. time I'm going to do the carbines first, though. Because there's a guy with one left, so yeah. I'm just going to try to do a bunch of stuff that does one damage. You know, hopefully you fail one more armor save, which would be kind of handy. Two saves. Two more saves. These are three ups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll fail neither. Oh, very nice. The galvanic, uh, the, sorry, the plasma calver. Fives. He will overcharge. Nope. Does he explode? Nope. nope. Not quite. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the plasma calver. So oh, the sorry. arc rifle is... The, uh, sorry, the arc rifle. Yeah. Next. Is it um, one shot or two? Let me just... The arc rifle is rapid firing. And he hits I, once oh, for oh, sure. Shoot. No, just no, one. This is like one. And on the threes? No. Nope. All right. Okay. And I did, because I forgot that one's rapid fire as well. Like, oh, yeah, one more one shot. One more shot. shot. Hey, hit. No. Nope. Nothing again. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We got the big vehicle here coming in. That minus one to hit that you put on them has really helped you in uh, a lot of ways. It, yeah, it helps them out a little bit here. It's just yeah. uh, still feeling the pressure on them. But I guess I've been shot up by quite a bit of stuff. So. Yeah, it's my, literally yeah. like my whole army <laughs> has killed three models. I'm a so big uh, I'm a big advocate of uh, things not dying, so yeah, this is perfect. It, yeah, especially the big close combat unit. Yeah. 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 Um, the Doom Crawler has, an, has a... Um, a large neutron laser and a Cognus Heavy Stubber and a second Cognus Heavy Stubber. So he has two Cognus Heavy Stubbers, which are rapid fire at the moment. So that is going to be a decent amount of shots. Just trying to get that one wound off that destroyer. I'm just going to try. I'm going to try my darndest. Hitting off fives though, because... We got scary masks. Scary masks. We got That's two, three, three hits. Plus a sustain. Oh, true. And these are Still, fives. Now I need to wound on fives. Looking hopefully for one here. Got Ooh, three though. That'll probably be Can I match you? Mathematically, oh, you one do. does go down. Good. Uh, how much damage is this big gun? Uh, big gun is a neutron laser. D6 plus one. I'm going to re-roll the save on this one. Cool. Hoping for the best. There we go. Just to mitigate his bigger shots. Cool. I'm actually going to take that re-roll back. It is uh, not... I'm actually just going to take that reroll back. It's not good practice to reroll after seeing all your saves. Only declare you're going to use the reroll if you're going to be rolling dice one at a time. In fact, I'm always a big fan of taking it out of the game in general. It doesn't belong in the game, in my opinion. Rerolls do make the game slower. Yeah, because like technically, that fail could have been my first roll of that pool of saves of three. And if it was, then I might not have considered the reroll because I'm like, oh, I'm probably not going to make the next two after this. So I'll just take the hit there, save the CP, and go to the big gun afterwards. And we're going to have to lose this guy, sadly, for coherency. But 
We're gonna be giving up the objective for now. The hex mark, because that thing just shot, that's the only thing within 18 inches. He shot one of my units within three of the hex marks. The hex mark's gonna shoot him back. Hit him with the pistols. Twos. And then fives. Yeah. Hey, nothing. Next up, we got the dragoons up here wanting to take some shots down. Yeah, they have their phosphor serpent up. There's a 18 inch pistols. <laughs> Okay. For no, and they're assault because of my doctrina. So, I assume it's just pistols so they can shoot them in combat. Hit on fours, which means they hit on fives. Yes. Oh, got One hit. One hit. And it is strength five, so I do need fives to wound, and that would be nothing. Right. And each. moving on to the sulfur hounds. I'm not sure whether I want to shoot the flayed ones or shoot the scarabs, to be honest. Okay. Uh, scarabs are OC zero. Yep. Um, however, I really need to soften up. I, I really want, sorry. Let me rephrase that. I want to soften up those flayed ones. So I'm just gonna go for the sulfur breath on the hounds. I'm gonna attack the flayed ones. Okay. Yeah. And the carbine will go for them as well. Yeah, okay. So I've got six D6 hits from flame Oosh. breath. That's a damn good roll. That's twice to wound, but they're AP one ignore cover. So we're gonna- There's some, some really cool stratagems you can use to like, get better to wounds and stuff, but I don't have enough CP based on what I needed to use oh, for this turn. Yeah, yeah. So needing fives to wound, but they are AP one, and it doesn't matter about your stealth. Uh, not terrible. Oh, brutal, that's 10 wounding hits. These are five ups because of the AP. I'll make three, I'll lose seven. I got three left. I'm gonna mm -hmm. lose pretty much all of these ones then, leaving those three remaining if I can pick them up. Hey, look at that. Okay. So the carving's D6 blast, so D6 plus two. So yep. it'd be three shots. What an interesting. Uh, right I know, point. right? Hits on four, so fives. Because they were stealth built in. So yep. two hit. They are strength six, AP zero, but do ignore cover. All right. So threes. Two more armor saves with no cover. No cover. Well, neither. You're fine. Fantastic shooting. That was not bad, was it? Yeah, I lost quite a bit of. Well, I lost a. Uh, Lots of other stuff I cared about, so. I mean, I put him out there to get shot at, so it is what it is. Um, uh, okay, so circle. now I have, it is the charge phase. I do have to spend one of my two command points to allow them to advance and charge. Yes. So they are going to advance charge. The Sidonian Dragoons can already advance and charge. Perfect. Let me just see when a couple of rules come into play. And the Sulfur Hounds are gonna charge the Flayed Ones. I believe I need a seven to get around that nice big uh, piece of terrain there, which would be interesting. Oh, an eight will definitely with an eight. Do it. Charging in there, and they have impact. <clears throat> they do. So I roll one dice for each model in engagement. So that'd be four of them. And I, on four pluses, will do a mortal wound as they basically crash through and try and take down the flayed oh, ones. Okay. That's wow. sad. Now, if they were next to a battle line unit, they would have done it on two pluses. Is that new for the ad mech? Uh, I don't know if they had that rule in the index. To be honest, I don't know. There's very few things that I remember about the index. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All I know is that. They, those were the models I had available. <laughs> yeah, and it's like a, the, the the similar mechanic is mirrored on the other units. They get like these guys move six, but they end up near a battle line unit. They actually move twelve instead. That's so you get a lot of like yeah. their impact hits are on two ups near battle line instead of the four ups. Yeah, so you interact with battle line a little bit more. I might as well attempt to uh, go for those guys. Go for yeah. a charge there. I think I need a. Uh, let's see, it's over a seven. So seven. So we'll bad. just try to get in there. Seven works. Okay. As much as I'd like to get that one, it seems pretty awkward to get all the way down here. So I'm just oh. gonna, like that would probably be the better choice. Um, but you know what? Let's see if we can tag these destroyers up here. Oh, a four. That is gonna be a no. Uh, reroll that. I'm gonna use a command point here to try and reroll that. And that is no. Okay. They're gonna sit there and look pretty. They do have a broad spectrum tether. On a five plus, I will gain that CP back, which I oh, do. Oh, nice. Refunded. Okay. We get the big guy in here. Yeah, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna try and just tank shock you. Okay. Oh, that'll do. Yeah. <laughs> now that I got, you got my, the CP I back. got my CP yeah. back. So I need a ten. Come on, little dune crawler. Seven. It was. He seven. will not. That's the one I need I know, over there. How dare you? And we're gonna go right to fighting. Yeah. I will probably do the same shadow the death mask ability on them. Yep. Just so they're negative one to hit. Yep. Hopefully keep those three alive. All right, let's bring it on. Okay, so six. Uh, they have four attacks each. Which oh, from is the guys up top? No, it's the clawed limbs. Ooh, they the they don't actually. The guys on top have zero close combat weapons. Oh, they just shoot with pistols in combat. Yeah, just yeah. the sergeant has an extra attack, which is a single maul. I see that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're very much designed to like, just yeah. So they hit on fives because of the negative one to hit. That's right. Well, that's a good roll, that's though. Not, hey, rarely do you see that kind of a roll. It's like right in a little... You can't even see the thing I got. Ah, it was on. a hit. Good it works. <laughs> that's still a lot of hits with my played ones here. Uh, strength four, though. So needing fours to moon. 
That was not terrible either. We got some AP on these maybe? No, zero AP on these. Uh, still enough to get. Nine fourth saves I gotta make here. They're dead. Got oh. a one time extra over too. Bye bow. Bye bye for laid ones. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, yep, there it is. The getting near the scarabs there. I get to attack with the scarabs, but you will be taking the objective and more importantly, securing no man's land. Scarry's gonna risk tagging I have to the tag you. locust as much as I, I hate the idea, I I think that's the right choice. Okay. Because even if I have one guy that stops you from shooting for one turn, that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, hey, absolutely. You know, I think that's especially since I missed messed up this here. That charge there. As well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I expected them to get. I didn't realize the uh, the speed capabilities. So them the advance and shoot, yeah. advance and charge actually is one of my favorite parts of this army because you yep. can get your whole army just to move all the time and yep. do anything they want to Super be able fast. to do, which is really cool. This one guy is a little overcommitted with his distance there, but I didn't expect the flayed ones to buckle like that either. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, the flamers were nuts. Yes, the flamers Those things were amazing. Tore them to pieces. <laughs> I will strike with these scarabs and try and yeah. take out some wounds on you. So I will spend my lost CP now to give them a five. I feel no pain. Okay, fair. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't actually have the keywords to do the five of feeling pain. I just read them. What and unit can do the? So Skitari, Sidonian, so the dragoons. <laughs> yeah. So you expect them to have one of those. And too, the right? fly guys. So everything in the army but them. <sighs> <laughs> what well, like they they don't they have sulfur hounds? That's their keyword. Uh yeah. So you can they they don't have the Sakaran keyword. They don't have the Pedaraxi keyword. They don't have the Sidonian keyword. Oh, yeah. They have the Skitari keyword. Ooh. And they are mounted. I see. Uh, but they are not any of the other ones. So they get they, they don't really benefit from They're the Cerberus, right? They're yeah. Cerberus. I yeah. will uh, 18 attacks with the feeder mandibles. Fives are lethals, and that's pretty much all I'm looking for here. Oh, got one, two, cool. three, four. No, oh, sorry, sixes are lethals. I don't know if fives okay. I'm talking about. They hit on fives. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Two wounds plus two more. Four wounding hits from the scarabs. Four and, saves. And they can't do their explosion because their explosion's at the start of the fight phase. They were not engaged at the start of the fight uh, phase. Very cool. So one goes down. Bum. All right, I'll take it. And then the locust go next. Pile in, we got this guy in base contact that you engaged, piling in the Lord and the other guy in this guy behind. These three cannot attack. So there's six attacks and then the Lord afterwards to try and clean them up a little bit. Uh, I do have to do a lot of damage. Uh, the, the only option I have now that they've lost a wound, I can give them plus one to hit with their melee attacks. Won't affect the Lord because he's already hitting on twos. But their attacks hitting on twos and your toughness four, so mm -hmm. fours eh, for a command point, plus one to hit. Uh, that'll only really give me one more hit on six dice, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Threes! Hey look, it would've given me no hits. Yeah. Keeping the CP safe. Keeping the CP safe. Fours to wound. Three wounds, no AP. Uh, one wound. One damage, well, that's not ideal. I wanted to kill at least one there. The Locust Lord is gonna go now. He's twos and twos. Uh, oh, double fail there. Okay, well, good job. Yeah, uh, you have two invulnerable saves. That's actually perfect for me because I perfect. can keep the coherency yes. and the objective, which is exactly what I needed. I was hoping to force five you up invulnerable. Make a decision. One nope. invulnerable save. Only do the one damage. That's so it. You do. Good call. Kill overall. the one. That is a very strong ad mech turn one. It's gonna be hard to come back from that one. Them being tied up and them being essentially taken out of the game is gonna be. I'll get some action out of them, but not as much as I need. Um, okay, so at the end of this, we're looking at a the scoreboard. I will get five points for secure no man's land and two points for no prisoners because I almost I tried so hard. But because you killed the unit, that's first strike still. So oh, you technically got four okay. points. Okay, neat. Yeah. Okay, nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. Before you grab any cards, I want to give you an update on the score at the end of the first battle round. Uh, I had two points and Scarry's got nine, so I'm down by seven. Uh, this is just the updated turn and the command points as we go to my turn two. We're already giving uh, myself command points and Scary command points. I'm going to draw me two new cards. Two cards that we're playing with this turn is deploy teleport Homer. So, you know, if I got my guys in the middle that could do that, I suppose. And uh, attempting target is one of the three objectives in no man's land. Scary wants me to go for. Oh, which one of these three you want me to go for? That one over there? Yep. Well, fine. I will do that. <laughs> I will do that as best as I can. And we, and then for deploy teleport homer, I can't, I mean, I could deep strike my Ophidians and get five points. Yeah, let's see. It, it, my yeah. deployment zone is quite, quite open, especially yeah, on this flank. Back so. there, so yeah. I don't have to worry about doing the middle last pose. Yeah. So that's always good. I can do my secondaries this turn. I just have to worry about kind of saving face. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and battle shock at these guys over here first. Hey, they are, ooh, the Lord is probably only seven. Never mind, he's six. His insanity has not taken away his command capabilities. Uh, that should be my only battle shock I have to do. I'm going to go ahead and reanimate that unit now at the end of my battle shock phase. 
And I believe that's the only thing that I got to. I'll get back a model with one wound. I could reanimate him up here, but I can't steal the objective because we'll both be OC too. So I'm just going to be aggressive, I guess, and go a little forward with them. And yep. just throw them away and try and do some damage with them. Do as much damage to them as I can. <laughs> gonna do anything I can. Yeah, literally anything I can with them. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to movement. Uh, to summarize, the played ones are gonna come up and around. They're gonna rush forward. I'll figure out what this stuff's gonna do. And this is all, unfortunately, has to retreat. And I'm gonna have these guys. They're gonna retreat over towards the objective. And then we're gonna have the locust heavies try and take out the stupid cow, the, uh, what are they called? Sulfur hounds and everything. Yep. And that'll be effectively it. Then I'll show you my reinforcements after that. I got most of my movement done, but we came across an overwatch. I'll go over some of my right. movements. These guys here are just scooting up this way. These destroyers retreated from the combat, uh, getting near the objective over here. And then the scarabs with fly flew over to try and block on this side a little bit. Yep. And over here, the flayed ones, normal move towards the flying, whatever those are called there. The uh, stalkers. Sure, yes. The stalkers. <laughs> then I was going to move this stuff here, but as I went to move them, Scarry would like to overwatch them. That's right. So we're going to start with the rangers back here because they do have a marshal, which allows them to re-roll hits. We're hitting on sixes with the galvanic rifles. Two hits so far before re-rolls. Okay. Mr. Marshal. Ooh, Ooh, that's very spicy. Nice done. There's one that reanimated, so I'm going to try to put it out of its misery. Yes. Just to try to keep my... Uh, oh, very good. Oh, Three ups. Oh, he's dead. Okay. I will overcharge with the rapid fire plasma calvert. And I get to reroll with these. Nope. Does he and die? Does he explode himself? Oh, oh he, he actually did. <laughs> he did. Boom. And then we've got the arc rifle. Pop, pop. Should be rapid firing. Oh, I got a hit. Okay, just got one. It. Strength eight. Does it hurt? Yes. It does. AP one. AP one. Ignore cover. D three. D three on this one. Spicy. I got oh, him. Oh, an Overwatch. Yeah, I got no! him. No. Well, that makes. Uh, Bloop. That's not idea. Oh well. <laughs> Assume these go away. I'm gonna move on to doing what I was doing. He's just gonna move, scoot up that way. He's gonna ascend to up here. Oh, there he uh, comes. He's gonna hopefully try and do some damage to those guys up there and uh, eventually die to something dumb. Smart Destroyer is gonna scuttle up this way. Nice. And then these Necron Warriors are just gonna stay still uh, for no real reason. Now we can move up. We'll move up. That'll be it for them. That's actually it for my movement in general. I'm gonna bring in my reserve. I have one of the hex marks arrive from Deep Strike here. Yep. And then both of the Ophidian destroyers are coming in on this table corner. Well, one in the further back is going to deploy teleport homers to, you know, Makes sense. attract more Necron destroyer units here. And then the other one there is, uh, as opposed to saving them for something useful, I'm just going to try and be aggressive and hope for the best. So they're going to hopefully go for a charge. And uh, we're good to go to shooting. I'm just going to start with this guy firing at those Vanguard out front. Uh, I will be firing six shots on twos. They all threes, hit. Threes, my good sir. Threes, because you're stealth, that's right. I'm stealth. I don't know so if there I was one, two in there. There's a two in there? There was. You know what? There you go. Four wounds. Four of involved. Four of involved, thanks to uh, my little force field projector. I killed two. Two of them go down. Warriors will fire at them as well, but ah, it's going to ah. be fives to hit. Yep. Hey. Yeah. We got three wounds, and that's it. Just auto wounds, eh? Lethals. Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, nothing. Moving on, this unit of heavies are gonna take out the sulfur hounds. Yeah, yeah. You have stealth on them because of the uh, I'm far enough away, and, but they're all gonna be rapid fire. Stealth is all the time. Doesn't is not. Oh, they just have yeah. stealth all the time. Stealth yeah. is unless you're a vehicle. These are fours to hit. In which uh, case, they just have stealth because they're. Those are all all the six. These are sustained. Hits. Are they lethals? No, it's sustains. Oh, oh. The first half, your toughness four. These are it's a fancy roll, wow. I guess. Uh, five, ten, twelve wounds, a minus one, but you'll have cover because of all the stuff in the way. Four ups. Let's go, little guys. You kill one, you kill two, you kill three, and one has a wound remaining. That was the first half of their shots. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll just, just remove right. the... Yeah, that was that was a very good roll. Yes. Uh, that's pretty much it for... This guy's got his little dinky shots over here. His pistol can do anything. Twos. Uh, or threes. Three. There's no, two no. Misses yeah, because they're still... Yeah. And, uh, one wound. Minus two. Got covered though, so uh, should be a four up at the three, if you have a three up. I do. I uh, this guy's got a gun. Yeah. This is a medic annihilator. I am uh, stealth as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one wound. Strength six. AP. Ah, uh, one or two. Uh, uh, oh. I do have cover because of this thing in the way, so no damage there, and it's only AP one. I am done my shooting. I'm gonna go to charging. I'm just gonna start over here, and we are going to. Blap! 
four? Well, they get to re-roll because we're the Annihilation Legion. Oh, is that just a built-in rule? They get, yeah, they get nice. plus one to charge if they're charging something, I believe, below half strength, and they always re-roll charge rolls. That's awesome. A charge in, and then we're going to go with the Scorpec Lord declaring charge as well. Yep. Hey, we're getting implied up there. He does have uh, still Crimson Harvest. He does yep. impact hits. Nice. Uh, I believe it is D3 out of five. D3 mortal wounds for the harvest. Two of them. I have one left. And then we're going to go with the Ophidians declaring a charge. They need a nine. Oh, they're going to re-roll. They get no bonuses yet. Hey, they get a three. What was them? What was them? Uh, that's it for charging. I got nothing fancy to do. I'm just going to fight with... Hmm. Fight with him first because he's already here. No piling in. He's just going to attack you. I will spend the CP for five up feel no pain, which is something I can do on Dragoons. Bionic Endurance, one mm. command point goes off. And uh, because I have a, uh, let's see, on a five up, I oh. will get a stratagem back. You bat around. Uh oh, that is a four. E. There you go. A four attacks. I'll attack with the Harvester, which is that big Butcher Cleaver. Nice. E. Ooh. I'll hit, and there are threes to wound. Uh, two of them. Uh, minus three, so you have your invulns. You do? Uh, uh, yeah, five ups. Oh, nice. Two. What's the damage? Three per. Okay, so the first one, five up. <laughs> nope. And then the second one, he oh, takes two. He's down to five remaining. Do they have deadly demise by chance? They do. All right. I does not matter. Just down to one. He just cuts up one of them. Just stay right there. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. He doesn't need to commit anymore. If they made it in, I might have consolidated. But for now, that is not the case. In fact, I think we're just onto the flayed ones. And my turn is over. Piling in. I only get five of them able to attack. Breeze to hit. Hey, sixes are good. Otherwise, three is hit. And these are forced to wound, but twin linked. Yeah, we the forced to wound is really good. There we go. Their Keep. toughness for which is surprising. Not too bad. So I get nine moons. Nice. Five of saves. Five of saves. So now I understand why they gave them the ability to take the invulnerable save. Uh, sorry, the feel no pain. Because they're oh. two wounds each. Yes. Which makes sense. So one dies, two die, three die, and one takes a wound. Pretty damn close. Yep. One wound left. And uh, I get to fight you back. Yeah. Two, I'm, I'm okay. I, you know what? I'll get a couple guys in base contact. If it with my Sky Stalkers. Oh, you better watch out. One of them attacks you with a close combat weapon. Oh my gosh. Wounding on fours. Good start. Ooh, wounding on fives. Yeah, one at no AP. We're good. Sad. And then the <laughs> Taser Goad. Sustained hits two, hits on fours. Okay, nice. You got nice. all hits. Okay, and now strength six. So wounds on threes. No AP on these either. Fours. We I lose. got one. <laughs> we lose in a flayed one. Bam. Okay. All right, that is the end of my turn. So for scoring, I will get my tempting target and I will deploy teleport homer as well. So I got 10 points on secondaries. Didn't score any primaries, but I was able to muscle you also off of primaries, I suppose. Yeah, so. this is that's this mission, especially on Dawn of War. It is very hard to score primary. Yeah. Because yeah. you're literally... We're basically fighting for like turn five. Yeah, exactly. is what it's going to come down to. We're ever going to accumulate yeah. the models over here. All right, well that is the uh, end of my turn. Yep, we're going to go to Scary's turn too. We're going to score, we'll draw some cards for him, and see where we're at. So, storm hostile objective. All objectives are hostile right now. Huh. <laughs> so I'm going to storm, try and storm one, and extend battle lines. Just take a single objective in no man's land. So hopefully I can achieve this. My plan is simple: kill. The machines. Come on, any, face any one of these. Any one. Of these work, yeah. This will probably be the easiest. Probably. Yeah. Um, the, uh, he's going to go ahead and heal him for D3 and give him a five up. Feel no pain again. Yes. I love that rule change, by the way. From a invulnerable save to a feel no pain. It's fantastic. I do owe you a battle shock test on those two. Six. And I believe that is going to be a fail. They are. Oh no! The battle. battle shocked. It's shocking. Oh no. We got our CPs updated. You're playing with one. I got three currently. Uh, hmm. I'm going to see where or what I can make this work. I am going to just start by trying to fold them back. Desperate breakout because they're battle shocked. Yeah, That's you want right. to shoot my flayed ones. So, uh, They're good. They're okay. I will still, once you're done moving, there's a strat they could do against you. It's called blood fueled insanity. Okay. Hi, look at that. So this strat has a second part to it, which I'm not going to use for it now. <laughs> uh, which is not great, but that's okay. It's it's more of a more of a for fun list, I suppose. But uh, I they would suffer D3 mortal wounds on a 2-up. Maybe 3 mortal wounds if I roll a 6. Kind of cool. Ultimately, though, these guys have to... Every single model must do a full 5-inch move towards them and as close as possible to them. Thus, 
probably pulling me off the objective. I'm sure I could figure out a way to finagle it. I'm not, I'm just gonna save everyone's time and now you're distracted. <laughs> We're just gonna not worry about it. More importantly, I come into the enemy clutches over here. Yeah, I wanna make sure that they get into combat. Yeah. <clears throat> then again, Mainly. I could do it, move forward, and then if you charge, on, not on the objective, maybe. You know what, I'll give it a shot. I'll show yeah. off the strat. I'll try, do... and try and kill them, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. D3 mortal wounds on a two, two up. Two plus. Just yep. D3, you suffer three oh, mortal wounds. Kills the whole unit. They do die. Does that mean that you don't move? My, the normal move is always optional. Oh, okay, is, cool. uh, I don't have to do but it. But you did kill them with a CP. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad. One that CP. takes a unit away from me to do stuff with. Agreed. Okay. Um, okay. So he, of course, was picking that unit again. For the double For the effect. double. Yep. And then uh, I'm using the advance and shoot again, which is... Oh, you don't have to go back and forth? No, okay. no I'm just going to use that one again. Yeah, so... Yeah. And then we're just going to continue doing some movement. Boy, here <clears> comes <throat> their demise. <laughs> Walker moves. They're gonna move. I'm just yep. gonna go ahead and do his Overwatch. Yep. Now, as opposed to another unit doing it, uh, six shots. Always hitting on two. Oh, three misses. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And then these are wounding on twos. Right. Three of them. Ignores cover. Minus two. Uh, One damage. Two go down. Or two actually. Yep. I killed two of them. Two of them. Bang, bang. Bop, bop. Here comes some infiltrators and then the clack, dragoons clack, 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 running clack. up and around to deal with this squad. Then advance this unit of Vanguard. Boop. There you go, 12. And stalkers are moving up and around this way. The other infiltrators coming up. They're all rushing the middle, essentially. That's what's happening here. I need to so need to. They, they are just going to move a little bit. Just Rangers to, coming up. Greater. The disintegrator coming up and around. Yep, going to try to take some pot shots there. Then we have this unit here. They're basically just going to move up as well. My poor blade ones. I'm going to try and do my best to do some damage here. Right. Well, that's pretty much it for movement. We're gonna keep yep. your Electro priests in reserve. Yep. And uh, my well, not the uh, the Coprascari priests, I believe, the ones that are the combat ones. Yeah. They're like yeah, there's the full great with the staff and the <laughs> wait. Do you have the staff guys or the hand the staff guys? guys. Those are the not the jazz hands, hands one. Yeah. The full great Electro priests. Okay. Um, let's do some shooting. Yes. Where do you want to be? Um, I'm not sure where we're going. <laughs> All I know is that I need to kill him. And he's like a priority. He needs to go down. Yeah, I'm probably gonna um, do the death mask on him to give him negative one to hit. Yes. Before you choose to do something like that, yeah. I am gonna go ahead and grenade you with a command point. Boo. Yeah. All right, bring it on. <clears throat> so six dice on fours to do mortals. They do three, three. mortals there. He's got four wounds left. We'll start with the anti the anti infantry guns. Yep, he'll try to keep himself alive with the death mask. I'll have one command point left. Okay. Okay, so we'll do the plasma first on fives. One hit. Ooh, nice. On that that's is okay. Yep. AP three. Right cover. to my invuln. We make it. Very nice. And then, then we got the arc rifle. On fives. Nice. Nothing. And then we got all the little guns. I lost two on Overwatch, so fives. And fours. Got one, one save. You only have a three up save on the big guy. We're okay though. He's okay. And then you got to do your hazardous. For that oh, plasma. That's right. He's he, okay. He's okay. The infiltrators. infiltrators. They have uh, a flechette. They, the, these are the flechette blah. No, they're the sharp stud carbines. All right. Fives to hit. These wow. are strength four, though. So. Oh, fives to win then. Fives instead of sixes. And that's two, two of them. Three ups. Oh, he takes the damage. He's got three One. remaining. We'll do the Giselle pistols um, from them into him, needing five to hit. Bang. Oh, got a hit. So uh, uh, strength six, but your toughness seven. Oh, it Ooh. didn't matter. One at AP. One, I want to say. You might be okay. Nope, we're failing that one. That's two damage on that. Ooh, two damage. Uh, ah, whatever. He's got one health left. Okay. If he dies, he dies. So they're going to shoot everything at him to try and bring him down. Yeah. One card. No, the blaster, the pistol. The blaster is only five shots. That's the sergeant. Gotcha. Has the blaster. Fives to hit. One hit. <laughs> and then everybody else. And all, and the all other these little guns. Oh. Fives. Ooh, good start. It's all about needing sixes, though, because I only strength three. Ooh. Oh, come on. They finish shooting, they do get to move 12 because they're near a battle line. No, they're gonna, they have to end holding oh. within six of a battle line unit. So gotcha. they're just gonna make sure they end. Keep it safe back there. Yeah, well, ideally he was dead and then they could jump forward. Oh. However, that's not gonna be the case today. Okay, so we still have a couple options. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot um, this unit is going to shoot everything into them. They're all currently heavy as well. Correct. Except for him, he is going to take his one sniper rifle shot. Do I do him first? Actually, there's a plasma caliber. So the plasma caliber is, I believe, higher strength. So he's actually going to take his two shots into your um, 
your Scorpec Lord. Scorpec Lord. So Arcbus and big guy into here. Everything else into there. So gotcha. let's do the Arcbus first. Needing a four to hit with a reroll for the Marshall. Nice. Good start. No, strength seven, so fours. No. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the Plasma Calver on fours. Ooh, this is strength eight. So that would be five. It'd be. It didn't matter. Okay. There's only one hit in there. But oh, you're heavy. You're heavy. My bad. I was. I was yeah, you're good. Yeah. Yep, you're good. But I did roll snake guys to wound. Does yes. he explode himself? No. no. Okay. <laughs> Everything else down. Now these guys are stealth, so they'll get the negative one as well, but you're heavy. The Marshal's pistol hits on threes, so threes, and strength six, nothing. And then all the. We'll do the arc rifle. Oh, yeah. Three, uh, th fours with a reroll. Yep, yeah. this is strength eight, I believe, or six. One devastating wound. Oh, nice. Just it's broad. just strength six. Should. And the rest of the unit? 14, 14 points. of them on fours. Let's go rolling tons of if you the dice. Yeah, add extra army. Have I got the army for you? <laughs> a couple marshals here, you get to roll more dice. Yeah. And then these are This is I think four iconic forty K. It's just rolling tons of dice. What iconic for eighth no, edition onward. For no reason. Got one wound. <laughs> Look at that. Literally that, that my probably my <laughs> favorite thing about forty K is let's roll fifty <laughs> dice for two saves. <laughs> yeah. That's the damage. All right. Oh, boom. <laughs> then they are thinking about going next. Uh, no, I'll shoot them because they don't have a choice. I might as well just shoot their fletchets. Lots of fletchets. Fed five shots each, so yeah. 25. Oh, yes, I owe you what do you five got? more dice. I got 20 in there. Uh, oh, perfect. 20. Okay, there we go. Excellent. 20 These are fives to hit. Yep, because of the stealth. I'm stealthy. It's like a six, seven, eight hits. Something and like that. the fives. We got, there two. it is. Yeah, Everyone, no there it is. On these. Four up. We're good. Two, two of them. Oh, two of them. Sorry, one yep. more. Uh, four up. We're not good. Bloop. They're finished. We're gonna move on to these rangers. Arc rifle here, little pistol there, all the other galvanic rifles into there. Down the table. What do you wanna do first? I'll do the pistols. Actually, the arc rifle, because it's the easiest. Arc so rifle. hitting on him, uh, hitting on fives, but I do have the reroll from the marshal. Marshal? No. Oh, I was hoping. The marshal does get a pistol shot. He hit. does hit. Mm. I think these are devastating wounds if they go through on a six. Oh, come on. That's a one. Five. Okay, I think it doesn't wound. Unless... That wounds, and we're alive. <sighs> lucky, lucky, lucky. And the rest of the shots down at the plate ones on fives. Yeah, thank goodness for a marshal. Yeah, I'm kidding. God forbid the first roll is good enough in a game. <laughs> <laughs> hey. These need fours. Not a bad roll there. Five. Oops. Oh, we lose four. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. We're left with just a uh, couple. Okay, lost unit of... Uh, uh, Vanguard, you're gonna shoot everything into your big guy. We just don't want to risk killing them. I so need to charge you to get yeah. onto the objective to maybe score some primary this game. Yep. Um, so that's key. There. I, yeah, because I don't have a way to. If they get on the objective, which they probably will, I have no way to stop it. Yeah. Let's go over here. Let's go for the arc rifle first on fives. All right. Okay. Good double start. Hit. That's a damn good start. I need sixes to dev wounds you. No, oh, not one and a three. That's a strength uh, six. six, I believe. Yeah. So yeah. then we'll do the plasma calver on overcharge, just so I can get the strength eight. Wow. Oh, double six. <laughs> Four is two, three is three. Three is one invulnerable save. Oy, he's good. Ah, oh, does my guy explode? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the radio. <laughs> he's getting broadsided. Boy, no, he's getting hit on his broadside so bad. <laughs> well, the, you know, he's yeah. definitely standing behind some crates there. Like uh, cover oh. helping him. Oh, lightning. Guns, Ooh. microwave guns, or whatever these guys shoot. I don't know. Radiation, radiation, radiation guns. guns. I like it. fours. Uh, fours, three Let's this time. Them. Three, three ups. Yes, sir. Hey, first one. Ah, oh, see, that's why it's important. Yes, yes. We went over this earlier. Yes. Ah, uh, I, <clears throat> I don't. I mean, one CP. Hmm. They have a lot of attacks. Go down. My hypothetical. Yeah. So good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So he'll go down there. Okay. Boom. Damn. Okay, he goes. That is Warlord kill for Scary, by the way. Oh, was that your Warlord? Yes. Heck yeah! It got like him. The, it was like I randomized it between the two. They're both like whatever kind okay. of guys. Yeah. Okay. So that's four victory points for you. On, sorry, four tertiary victory points. Well, now I've got lots of options for these. Just points. my two tanks. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this tank here. Um. The little guns, and I, I, I was just gonna shoot them. I might as well. Uh, Neutron laser. I was gonna. He could fire back at you, maybe if I'm an 18, but I don't yep. think you care about that. I do not care about yeah, that. Yeah, fair. I'm he, not even gonna bother shooting. His he attack. has a five up, feel no pain yeah, for yeah. another turn. Basically. I'll save us all the die rolls. So yeah. go ahead and fire everything. Okay, so I got two stubbers and neutron lasers are two shots hitting all fours. Brown. Got a hit. Nice. Strength a lot. That's one wound. wound at AP four. 
Uh, does he ignore cover? If not, I'll have a six he up. He does not ignore cover. I do not make that save. So D6, D6 plus one. That's enough to kill one. Okay. Six shots from the stubbers on force. What's wow. sustained? Nice. Oh, nice. Three hits. Let's go. Five swoon. Uh, toughness six on him? Yep. Nothing. And the disintegrator? Yes, that's right. So we're going to go ahead and do the disruptor missile launcher first. Is everything into the locust in the back? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. I'm just going to shoot everything into them. So fitting on fours with the disruptor. And you're on, ooh. ooh. Strength nine. So threes. All right. These up. are AP two. Any ignoring cover? No ignoring cover. Four ups. We save two. We fail three one. Oh, sorry. D6 damage. I oh. thought it was three. But D6. Oh. One damage. Uh, two damage, sorry. Two damage. We'll go two one damage. wound left on one of them. Okay. The stubbers. So the now I do the stubbers to try to take off that last wound for anybody who's following it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, these are sustained? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, four extra oh. hits. Nice. That's all. The math is crazy. A uh, fives. Okay, so one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any, uh, what's AP on this? Uh, AP zero. Well, then we're good. Oh, no. Big turret gun. Yeah. Uh, threes to hit. And by threes, I mean fours to hit. Okay. So everything just sets up fours. <laughs> Strength 12, toughness 6. Yes. So these need twos. And, and these are AP. Wow. AP3? Like AP3 on these. No, no, no ignore cover. cover. Five ups then. Uh, yeah. Wounded guy. He's alive. Ooh. He's still oh. alive. And he's dead. I only did two wounds. Oh. You passed huh. both of them. I failed. I rolled double sixes. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, let me. I think you had three wounds. Oh, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, because okay. it was like you had. Yeah, Different. I was thinking bad. Oh. I was thinking. End of the shooting phase here, just in case they roll particularly well. I'm going to yep. use this resurrection order. Once per game. I, I like that. It's not it's as obnoxious as yeah, it yeah. was, but you can use it at like key moments. Yes. Like someone tank shocks you in the charge phase, and you can use it like. It's, yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's, and it's more like characteristic of kind of what it used to be back in the day-ish. A clutch. It's always been kind of back and forth on how it's operated in every edition, but it's all, I've always imagined it as a once per game clutch mechanic. Yeah. It's going to bring back a, one destroyer. We're going to bring him back just somewhere to help out. So it's D6 on a res orb. So not only is it resurrection, it's like a better resurrection. It, it just activates the reanimation and makes it D6 instead of D3. But if you have a little walker nearby, it's D6 plus D3. I didn't want to run any reanimators this game just because I've been running them in my I games. love that. Yeah, he's that just back cool. with the wounds though. Yeah, Easy yeah, enough. that's good. That's awesome. Uh, go ahead and charge. Okay. That's in the shoot phase. I do that. Start with them. Boom. Six. I'm going to try not to fail that charge this time. Yeah, fair. Well, so I am going to go ahead and just base, base so that you... I'm going to get nice up and in there. Yeah. I'm going to hope the uh, Locust Lord guy is a little do better this He's going to base them and then he's going to go up this way and sure. base him. Because he's going to probably die. What does he got for wounds? Five? He has five left. Well, uh, okay. He is the one that could die. Yes. Yes. Because of his wounds. So I want to try and make sure... I kind of get yeah. as many of there as possible. Okay, over here. We're gonna go ahead and get them involved. Oh, it's good enough. Hello. Clackety, 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 clackety. Charging like that, making sure that they can make it in there with the charge rules. Uh, hey, oh. Nope. <laughs> Interesting. They don't want to. <laughs> they're gonna get shot by hex mark. Okay. Why not? <laughs> yeah. And these infiltrators are, are going to charge into the scarabs. Yeah, they're gonna try get in there, involved, get involved. You know, six. get some work. Six, six seven like inches away. Yeah. Looks like they're about six and a half. There, yeah, six. Sending. Clackety, clackety. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Okay. Although, I, there's nothing I could do about them. They're going to have a field there yeah, the next turn. Yeah, one's probably going to disappear, and then the other one's going to stay on the board. Yeah, go do some stuff. Yeah, get a tumbling horrors and all that stuff. You don't have any CP to interrupt anymore. So no. I am going to start on this far side of the table with my Tesla goads. I'm tempted to death mask over here to give you negative one to hit. Yep. I got two wounds in there, though. Ah, whatever. If they live, that's a huge deal. So I'll, whatever, I'll try it out. I don't... I don't See what else I use the CP for, anyways. I suppose if they if they live there. That that puts me in a great spot, so I might as well try whatever I can to keep them alive. That's it. They only have, like the they only have two attacks each, and they're hitting on fours normally. So with the death mask, they're hitting on fives. But they are sustained hits too with their Tesla. So. They all come down to the sixes. Let's see. Hey. Oh, one, two hits. That's no. enough to kill me. That's enough to kill them. Yeah, but that's not quote, consistent. Quote yeah. enough to kill yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they are strength six though. So needing threes. threes. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That was a clutch. Well, how many fours did you roll? I've, a few fours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Full death mask. Well, that's... They do it at the battle shock. Oh, was that do... before I do the strat? Yes. I did forget that. It is a minus two, though. With a minus two, I needed to roll a nine up to pass. They're going to be battle shocked at the start of the fight phase. 
Which means I can't use the death mask strat. I gotta do one for the scarabs too. I don't care about them as much. They fail as well. Okay. Uh, so they're both battle shocked until my command phase. So that does mean that we're gonna go back and look and see how many hits Fours I got. you have. Yeah. Okay, there's only one four in there. Cool. <laughs> so so I just technically save a command point. One save. One wound. We're good. Ah, oh, sad. Okay, so same result. But same result, and I get a command point. Yes. But they're battle shocked. Yeah. All right, so I will fight back with them, I suppose. Oh, yeah, good. You're the guys. I don't want to explode with the scarab at the start of the fight phase. And they also are battle shocked as well. Yeah, they're battle shocked. I can't cool. do it. I don't think I can do anything too fancy with them, anyways. Oh, yeah. other than like base. I think technically it's any unit within six of them has to take a battle shock or within three, Ooh. but you're not close enough to force another battle shock test on them. All right. These also hit on fours, but these are strength four AP two. Okay. Yeah. No Tesla. Though. Like oh, a, there you go. That's a much, more, that's a much better roll. <laughs> All right, scare. Well, you know. Yes. How it is. Uh, toughness three on the scare. Two actually. Oh, really? I think they they went down. Good. Okay. I did not. Oh well. That is one scarab dead and one Dixie wound. All right. Dead. Boop. And yep. then this one will go down to three remaining wounds. And they're just gonna come back later. Yes, sir. Oh, we got this charge as well. Keep okay. forgetting about all the charges you did. <laughs> Leave by charge a few times. The destroyers alone. Hitting on fours, four attacks each. Tesla two, Lance, you and a bunch of stuff. The death mask. Oh, death mask them. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Let's use that CP here. <laughs> by Since you couldn't do it anywhere Since else. Since I could do it, it's on any destroyer cult. Nice. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Right. So needing fives this time. Hey. Nice. Okay. Well, so stop. that's a hit. Three plus two. Yeah. Now they are strength seven, so only threes, but they are Lance. Ooh. So wounding on twos. Yeah. And these are AP two. So that would be five at AP2. <clears throat> five, five of saves. I'll save one, and that kills two of my destroyers. Nice. Pop. Pop, I guess. Oh, whatever. So was it? Ah, you know what? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, well, I'm just going to fight back here and work my way back down to those flayed ones. Yeah. Uh, should just be that guy, and then that guy, and then I'll have three of them attacking plus the Lord. I'll do the Lord first. Four attacks with the Lord's blade on twos. Double ones, eh? Toughness seven. Uh, okay, four ones won't do it. <laughs> no, no rerolls for him. And then it'll be six attacks from the little guys. Well, that was not ideal. We got a couple hits, uh, one wound. Three up. One damage. Down to four. It. Well, that's that, I guess. Uh, I got my scarabs attacking. It'll be 12 attacks. Uh, bu -bu -bum. One wound and a hit. And nothing, just one wound. Okay, save. Nope, goes uh, through. One just damage. One damage. Damage, One damage and then here. These two flayed ones. Eight attacks on threes with sustained hits. I love how three flayed ones have can have like. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can kill like a, a whole unit by themselves. Uh, Toughness four, I think. Yeah, T four on that. So four at minus one. Okay. Uh, one. One wound. one wound. Oh no, minus one. My apologies. Kills one. One and dead half. and one at take. Right, well, that was a surprise. That was <laughs> that was good. Uh, okay. Well, then I will continue trying to work on denying you primary points on my turn because that should be the end of your turn. Uh, yeah, I will be getting both uh, storm hostile and extend battle lines. That's ten points for you. That's ten more points. Not bad. No extra command points. Well, and I got you your warlord as well. That, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you're at six tertiary. Well, the so only the... ones that use the command point with them, and they do not have the command link. So gotcha. they can't get right. one back, essentially. Right. Well, then we're going to go to my Necron turn. Uh, I was very pleased with this, very disappointed with this. I was hoping that they actually would have killed one of them and uh, been able to wrestle control this OC with those two models there. So that's uh, not ideal for me. So I also am denied. <laughs> primary points. And an update of the end of the second battle round. Again, I just update the turn of the command points. Uh, I'll be at 12 secondary in total. And Scarry's at 17 secondary, but 6 tertiary for the Warlord kill and first strike. So I am at 20, or you're at 23. I'm down by 11. Uh, the two cards I'll be drawing this turn is secure No Man's Land. I just grab two of the objectives in No Man's Land for now and make it work. Yep. And then we're looking at doing uh, overwhelming force as well by claiming those objectives and killing the things on objectives. Then we'll be scoring our mission. I do have a few objectives. Yeah, lots of options. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I got a couple hex marks. will probably help carry me most yeah, of the Yeah, hex marks are just fantastic. In general. I'm in my command phase here. Uh, battle shocks because I don't have any like beginning of command phase things. They're going to be at minus two. I need a nine to pass. Well, the minus two matter there. So they're battle shocked but that shouldn't matter too much. I'm just trying to kill you off it because I can't score it anyways. That'll be the only thing I need to battle shock. The scarabs are good. I can just go to some reanimates and uh, that should effectively be it. Start over here because I'm already over here. I'm going to get back a locust with one wound. I'm just going to quickly reanimate the scarabs there. I'll get back this guy and a scarab with one wound. 
And then over to here, the flayed ones are gonna get back two. And we got four flayed ones here. I won't be able to deny you the prime. Well, I won't be able to get the primary on this side, but I can work towards trying to deny it because if I could stop Scar from getting it on his turn three, no one can score this objective. It will be removed. And then we'll put focus on this one for the next battle round and then ultimate focus on that one on the end there. Now, I did forget to put my reanimated locust destroyer back over here. So it will steal me the objective. I started moving things and realized that afterwards. So that'll give me five points on primary. That's about it, but that does help. That's a big deal. And then as for movement, uh, we did remove one of the Ophidian Destroyers there at the end of Scarius' turn there. Kind of regret it after seeing the cards. I uh, would have loved to have that unit on the table, but you know, you had to make that decision before you see the cards. Yeah. So they're gonna slink their way up this way. We are going to, uh, after we score a five, they're going to disengage from this combat here because I think, ah, you know what? I actually might just stay in combat, honestly, just to get the extra help out. Uh, the uh, Destroyer Lord in there. I don't really think I need to, I don't care about staying in combat or getting out of the combat there. I have to worry about them, so we're gonna get these get these Scarabs out of there. We're gonna move these, uh, the Locust Heavies up to here just to try and take them out. And then we're gonna have these three units try and worry about taking out the Vanguard over there. And then the rest of this, is it's a lost cause. <laughs> I have some Ophidians that could show up somewhere to try and gum up the enemy, but it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard all the same. But I'll show you what that looks like once this is all done. I've already moved them up though. Damn. They didn't, I end up putting them there anyways. They're nine away from the infiltrators and the rangers down there. Just in case I need them to go somewhere, I'm gonna be a little aggressive with them. They only, they get a reroll charge, which is kind of nice, but we'll see if we need it. And uh, we move the scarabs back a little bit. Ah, could I kind of want them to not go too, too, too far back. So we're gonna stay kind of right here-ish. Yeah. Yeah, that's little a, screen of doom, eh? Yeah, it's going to be continuously annoying, hopefully, throughout this game. Yep. Uh, as for shooting, well, we're going to start with this. This guy is going to fire at those Vanguard. Yeah, right. go right ahead. Boom, boom, boom. Threes to hit. One miss. Yep. And twos to wound. AP2 ignores cover. Three minus twos. So we have bionics all the same. Kills two. Two of them. The pew. Blah, blah. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same with this one back here. Same target. Should be... Um, is it? It's stealth all the time. Stealth right? all yeah. the time. So threes. Correct. And twos. Four more saves. Cool. Ignore cover as well. Yep. Same same gun. Four of them go down. How many are left? Just two. All right. Well, I only have two Necrons. I can see them. So these two Necrons are going to fire over there, and then whatever else is going to fire at those Vanguard over there. The two Necrons are going to have two wounds because of lethals. Minus, minus one, but you should have cover. So back to your fours. Good. Oh, neither one. They're both good. These five Necrons over that Seven, way. Right? Uh, these guys shot. That guy could see too. Yeah, we'll do yeah, this guy too. He can see over this. But this guy. Yeah. It's entire bullets because one's rapid firing. We have one lethal. Nice. And because of stealth, we got a hit. Hey. No, just one. Just one. Hey. Good. Yeah. Because I got, you got cover. my cover. All the guys over here. Also because you're far away. That and too. we didn't do it separately. Yeah. So. I got these destroyers going to fire at your infiltrators. Uh, so stealth and uh, four. and toughness four, and you have cover. Still going to be a lot of shots, though. It's 12, 24, 36 shots. So I'll do 18, and then 18. Staff for the shots. These are on fours. Uh, sixes are sustains. I won't get the heavy trade here because we moved. Uh, toughness four. Should be threes to wound here. Yeah. So the first staff, we have seven. And the reroll wound rolls a one if they're targeting the right target. So seven wounds, they get rerolls against non-monster vehicles. The bigger guns are yep. monster vehicles. And the other half, fours with sustain. We got three extra hits in there. Yep. And threes with the reroll. No need any of those. Six. Six more. So a total of thirteen. Each one, but you have cover. So four ups. Every two. Oh, so one bad. dies. Two, two die. Three die. Oh, not, that was not bad. Actually. White killing them. I one die. Open to a stealth, obviously, helping a lot. Three dice. Stealth helped a lot in oh, this yeah. case, yeah. And uh, that's them. I think that's kind of it for my shooting. So we're good to go to charges. I'm going to start with these Ophidian destroyers back here. Which there. ones? Oh, sorry, the ones. Oh, the ones in there, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, they sorry, roll a double one. one. So okay. as long as they're within three, they, they pass. Sh they should be. I'm just going to re-roll. They get to do it for free. Yeah. They go seven. Yeah. Nothing yeah. fancy. Yeah. They just all go base contact there. Then yep. these guys are going to declare a charge. Where are they going? It's, it's a nine. I'm just going to go for the Rangers over there, I guess. Okay. Nine. On to the Marshall. Reroll. Seven. They fail. They're okay. in the open. <gasps> the dummies. And then that's it. <laughs> that's it for charge. 
Those warriors want to declare a charge. I almost forgot those. Okay. Right there. You come and try to get them. Uh, I don't know if they get a reroll. It's filtering in there. I got to kill that unit. Oh, sorry. You can't assume that wolf in there. I got to kill that vanguard unit. Yep. Well, I'd love to kill that vanguard unit. All right. Well, I'm going to start. There's no interrupting, so I'm just going to start over here with the Ophidians. I will spend a command point to give them a five up feeling pain. Bionic endurance. And do I get the. You do! Hooray! Free. I will. I'll use my uh, little. Little Dev wounds, yeah. here. And they have devastating wounds on their attacks. Rolling up their attacks, it's five attacks per model. These are threes to hit. Not a bad number of attacks. Not a bad number of attacks at all. This Fives to be. wound, but sixes will be devs. Yes. And they're two damage each. And they're two damage to pop all the same. Yeah. Oh. So I'm Every hoping. time I play like John the Cron, that's two devs already. It's four yeah. damage straight through. And, and you get two more saves. You get three saves. Three saves. Boop, boop, boop. Was that fives or fours? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Thinking of the ruling on fours. Two so saves, minus two. Two saves on five ups. Boom. And then so a no. bunch of field of pains. Okay, so I do have a guy with five wounds remaining, or yes. is that four wounds remaining? He's got four. Four. So he, he has to take uh, two of these. Yep. Uh, so it should be eight. It should be eight, eight damage eight in the damage pool. Yeah. Right. So five of field of pains. Uh, so he's gonna soak nice. up the next one. two. Boom. And then the last guy. The last takes guy takes two. And device. does he explode? No. He does not, but you did kill one of them. That's not bad. We're just working on the other one. He's got one less The devastating wound. wounds are really coming in handy there. Oh, yes. And then he's got six wounds remaining. Not bad, not bad. And then moving over to here, these Necrons aren't going to get many. I'll get like three of them attacking, probably. Just a uh, few, few of them. Ah, uh, no hits. They tried, though. They're, that, they're not that angry. <laughs> oh, uh, they're within six inches of them. Uh, oh, battle three inches. I believe they require a battle shock. We pass. We got an 11. It's minus two. Warriors were maybe in range as well. They'd They're, be battle shocked for this they are. for now. It's, yep. Should be okay. Never mind. That was the start of the fight phase for the battle shock yeah. trigger. Them being battle shocked is a big deal. That is, that is, I will avoid that. Yeah. So there's no battle shocking on them. <clears throat> and then you fight first over I'll here. I'll fight over here. And they're okay. battle shocked, so I can't. Uh, can't make oh, it no, hard for not. me to hit. They are. They, bat they failed again, that's right. Okay, huh? Tesla goes. This is life or death here. Four is to hit. Uh, I wish there was a plus one to hit strat in here. Will the Tesla come in handy? Uh, yes. Whoa. Actually, pretty much everything Whoa. hits. Nice. All right, the exact nice. opposite of last time. Okay, needing threes to wound. Hey, they actually hit okay. Are their weapons made okay? Decently, that'd be eight saves. My hopes, my dreams, squandered away. Got him. Boom, boom, boom. All right, well, I can't deny, but I guess I got primary this turn anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, it just balanced itself. Then, and you get to go yeah. next. I'll go over here with this guy. Yeah. Got the one guy in the back here not able to get in base contact with that Locust Lord. So we'll do the Locust Lord first. Lord's Blade, twos, can you please stop rolling pairs of ones? I need you to do so much better than this. He's got uh, two wounds on. No, just one wound. One. Yeah. Uh, five up. Invuln. No. Nope. Two damage. Five ups. One, one damage. damage goes through. Yeah, that's He's got down to five remaining. Six other attacks. Six other attacks. Uh, one miss. And we got two wounds. No wait. Okay. Uh, threes. Good. Nice. That's it. Okay. I get to swing back at you. Who do you want to go for? I'm going to go against the destroyers, the regular destroyers. Locusts. Yeah. going to try to hit these destroyers, needing fours with the Tesla. Oh, nice. nice. Good. Everything hits. Okay, needing seven, but not Lance. Because three. Charge. So threes, three at AP two. Five ups. Mm -hmm. Oh, kills one and two. Okay. Is this guy? I've never used Lance guys before. They're actually pretty cool. Not going to lie. So I will spend my one CP for a stratagem called planned withdrawal or planned, with, and then I will put these, they are a Skitari infantry, into reserve. We'll reserve. see that later. Absolutely. They will come back and they will hopefully make themselves useful. All right. Three is one CP and then... Uh, scoring. Yeah, scoring. I didn't get... I was shy of no prisoners by... Sorry, uh, overwhelming force by a couple of degrees here. Didn't quite get him. Didn't quite get the Vanguard. We get to attack me back, actually, if you want to quickly roll oh, them up. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. This okay. one was more of a fever, like a pipe dream, but... <laughs> actually, I, that was the, the one close combat attack and then the little taser goad thing. All right, not a... Missed. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't get any overwhelming force. I'm actually just going to drop it for a command point and draw other cards. Yeah. And uh, I did secure No Man's Land, which is this objective and that objective. So I still have both of those. Put me at three command points as we go to Scarry's turn with him at one. And uh, we'll see what he gets. Okay. So I got investigate signals and I got um, defend my stronghold. So defend my stronghold, I'm in an okay position to defend because those uh, Ophidians are right in front of me so I can potentially shoot them. And then with investigate signals, I might be able to get four points thanks to me putting the unit of um, 
Pedaraxi or the Sky Stalker, sorry, back into reserve, which will give me some more, a little bit of flexibility over there. That's uh, any command phase things. That I do. Gonna I owe you. One? So he's going to give this tank the five of feeling pain this time. Okay. And then he's going, and then I have to take I owe you a couple of battle shock tests. Right. Yeah. So on the Vanguard over here, they are definitely battle shocks. Yes. And on these infiltrators, they are okay. I need a rock. Those two guys back there will be battle shock for now. And uh, the fact that they're not battle shocked is good. They're, yeah. they're probably going to stay still so they don't get overwatched <laughs> by a couple yeah. of. Uh, uh, hex mark destroyers um, and then they've got a decent charge they will make things battle shocked uh, when they go in again especially if they're within six inches of a uh, unit so I'm potentially just gonna charge this warrior bri brick with as much OC as possible and try and force a battle shock test essentially gotcha uh, I do have to try and kill them which is gonna be annoying I don't have enough movement to put them wholly within nine because they'd have to go down they're just gonna sit here I think and potentially just shoot long bomb shots I am, of course, in the advance and shoot one again because that's the best one, the aggressor protocol. Yeah, it's a shame. It is what it is, though. I like it. They yeah. did. Well, if if you were more static and it yeah. was more of a range game, I could just sit in my deployment zone and make it a range game because you're such a... And the fact that I have to move to this side of the table, it's nice having that option to just go oh, absolutely. all the way back this way. I would fall back with him, even though he's got Desperate Breakout, they can re-roll their Desperate Breakout tests. <laughs> sure, fair. Right? And then he could charge, ba uh, charge back in, I think. It, okay. it, maybe, I don't know if that's how that works. But he can fall back and charge. Right now, no, I'm going to keep him in there to prevent Overwatch. And then my full Grey Priest is just going to come in here and hopefully turn the tide of battle. Needing a nine-inch, a nine-inch charge, baby. That's all they need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't, I haven't had any luck with my guys. So we'll yeah. see how that works. Okay, and then worst comes to worst, I'll tank shock them and do some stuff. So we'll see what happens with that. Then these guys are always going to benefit from both. Unless, uh, unless I have stated otherwise. Yes, they, they'll get <laughs> heavy and assault weapons. Yeah. And the movement phase, oh, scoring. By the way, you get five. Oh, points I get five points for primary, yep. which I'm excited about. That's pretty good. It ties yep. up the primary again. Yep. Makes it a closer game. That's exactly what you wanted. That's perfect yep. for you. Over here, we're gonna try and desperate break out both of these guys. They have a cool ability where their radium is three inches from them, and it lowers the a the OC of units by one. Oh. So okay. he, I can kind of put them like all the way down here and make the OC minus one to get like my OC worth more than your OC. And they're, they're both, both okay. So There's... they will definitely just hide <laughs> back here. We back there. Yeah. Over here, so that's where they slinked in, just underneath the Warriors, reducing their OC by one. Yep. And the Rangers are moving up this way, but they're avoiding the Overwatch from the hex marks in the back there. Okay, they move 10. Boom. I'm just gonna go something like that. Right. Stay right beside it. Yep. There, the rest of the Dune Strider walks up, advancing these Vanguard. They're gonna advance. Inv advancing. I don't want to overwatch any of this stuff, because I want to pin down the Infiltrators on the other side. One. They go nine. Mm -hmm. Can I get within? Coming up and around. Yeah, might as well. If I can threaten your home objective back there, you know, it just gives me... And it also threatens, like, uh, behind enemy lines yep. and the deploy teleport homers, and they're just, like, a good unit to have. Plus, this objective disappears next turn anyway. It's gone, yeah. You already got so it. So it literally does not matter at all. All right, and then we have your reserves. reserves. Oh, do you want to put those guys in the corner to do... Oh, that is the reserves. Yeah. Well and then over to this corner come the Sky Stalkers. They're going to investigate signals over here. That's right. And then the full grid Electro Priest. Is that the only? I guess that's the only you're going to do with. Huh? Is yeah. See, yeah. It's, it's. I need these priests to make a charge. I could have probably, if it wasn't Dawn of War, it would have been easier to be in position. To, oh, for uh, sure. Yeah. You know, but there. I highly. I really debated rapid ingressing these guys last turn, but so they would like move up. Oh, but yeah. I knew if I did, then they would have just. Shut I would down. try. I would try. You would have definitely done some work with it. Bring us to shooting. Any yes, idea where you want to start? Mm, well, I'm going to do my deploy teleport homer. Oh, yes. I just investigate signals. Boom. Start this off with these Vanguard. Uh, oh. Yeah, just let me double check this uh, this range here. Yeah, so they have to shoot them. So these guys are going to shoot into them as well. Those Vanguard? You know, the Rangers, actually. The Rangers are going to shoot into oh, the Fidians. Death mass them. The plasma did die. Yep. <laughs> Let's That's do true. the arc rifle first in rapid fire. Hitting on fives, okay. and the marshal. Oh, the reroll got me again. Okay, and these are strength six, so needing threes, but dev wounds. So okay. two at AP one, one. ignore cover. Fives, fail them both. First one is D3. Dead guy. Second one is oh. one. Two okay, left. so two. We'll do the one pistol. Hits. Hey. Wounds. Ooh. AP one. Nope. How much damage? A one wound left. Okay, and then you did kill one guy. Yeah. 
So I still have eight on fives. And the marshals in the units making my units very reliable. There we go. Mm -hmm. You're only T4 on that. Only T4. Okay, fours. They're very soft, the Ophidian. That'd be six. They, they can, do hit hard. Though. They can't afford to get be caught out. That's the problem with them. Mm. Which is they have all the tools to try to not be, but... Yeah, I do like Ophidians. They're one of my favorites. So that is one wound left, and then one guy's got a wound Oh, they only have a four up still. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay, yeah. so they, they're, they're multiple whammy. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. The only way to really play them is like keep putting them behind things and all that stuff. Yeah. That ain't my playstyle. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. So the two Fletch at T pistols first are gonna go into them. Yes. Just the stud carbines needing fives. Okay. Sure. Next. <laughs> We're coming down to this Vanguard squad. One arc rifle, which just has a single shot into here, and then the other stuff. Oh, how many can I see? I can see. Arc rifle first. Fives. <gasps> nope. And <laughs> then that's fine, you know. These are into the warriors. The warriors come out to play. These are on fours, though. Yeah. Okay. These are on fours. So that would be four of them? Uh, five, five of them. Of them. Three. Uh, we'll make any AP? No AP. No damage. Uh, do they, yeah, the Omnis specs ignore yes. covers. So one guy goes down. One guy will die. How this does allow the... Oh, jeez, I'll take this guy, I guess. Yeah. This does allow him to fire at them as a... Ability he has. He says, don't shoot my friends, I will shoot you. Uh, Stealth? Oh, uh, okay. unmodified twos. Sorry. Uh, that's only you. Overwatch, I think. And twos. That is four, four of them. Minus. Four up involves, thanks to my Honor Gardoon Crawler. Ooh. Oh, three down. Right. Ouchies. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. One, two, three. Uh, so my Disintegrator is going to shoot missiles and ferromite cannon at your heavies. Gotcha. Every the other little. Uh, stubbers are gonna go into your See last video. Yeah, he's on three rapid fire cognitive stubbers. <laughs> Fives on the. Oh, this is so silly. Look how many guys. Okay. One six. Oh, two sixes. Yeah. Five. Strength four. Four, four. I believe they're just fours. So two armor six. Oh boy. No four. AP. First one. He's dead. Second one. He's dead. Missile launcher hitting on fours. Two. Nice. Uh, wounding on toughness nine. So uh, these are twin link though. Yeah. Threes. Twin link. Two, of them. two at AP two. No AP ignore cover. No ignore cover. We're gonna fail both those then. Okay, so they're D six each. First one. First one does. Two. Oh, yeah, Either, that's fine. They're, they're four wounds each. Two <laughs> <laughs> left, and then the ther same target. Ferromite cannon. Same target on fours. Only one. Okay. And it's strength twelve. Uh, oh, probably a wound. I'll roll my save and figure it out. It's AP three. You should be in cover. They're going to be okay. They have a two up save with the cover there, and they were wounded on that too. Okay, that's it for the other guy. He's going to shoot his pistol at you. He does have pistols. Yep, he's just going to shoot one pistol. Fives. Nope. Okay. Uh, he might have to shoot the guys he's engaged with, but... Uh, no, because he's a vehicle. I thought he was only mounted. Is he mounted? He's a vehicle mounted. Oh, mounted. Yeah. Ooh, I mean... Ooh, yeah, okay. they, they've got a whole bunch of different... <laughs> they have a whole bunch of keywords. <laughs> I get a shot at them then. Dang, that's okay. Uh, with them. them, yeah, I guess. Yeah, with yeah. Them, yeah. So this guy's going to take a shot at my Locust Heavy Destroyers. The little okay. stubber. Maybe fives. Yeah, one That's arm save. Ooh, we're good. <sighs> and then the big gun. Neutron. Oh, I have another stubber. Sorry, there's two oh, stubbers. Yes, there's two on stubbers it. on that. Okay, oh, my. six hits. <laughs> Five to move. Go, little guy. You got this. Two. Two saves this time. Three ups. Trying to get that last. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Close. Neutron laser. Hey, both hit. That's good. Zim. Uh, both wound. Bazim. Minus four. Maybe four on these. Dead, dead. Oh, D6. One guy plus dies. One. D6 plus one. Okay. So what? He's taken out by the neutron laser and then down to one wound. And the last thing is the heavy unit of rangers is going to fire the warriors. Okay. So I'm going to just do the arc bus first. Okay. Getting on threes this time. Uh, miss. Three roll. Three roll. Hit. And threes. One at AP1. Ignore cover. We are going to take a damage. Okay. Then we have the two from the plasma. I'm not going to overcharge because there's no point. Three roll on threes. And on... Oh, I guess it would have... It doesn't matter. Two, two at AP2, I think. Uh, Ignore two cover. More dead. That's yeah. three dead so far. The arc rifle hits wounds. Okay. AP uh, one, I think. Failed that cover. One as well. It's four. That's dead. Four, and then we got the rifles, the galvanic. And then seven shots from the galvanic rifles on threes with rerolls. And on fours with no AP, but they do ignore cover though. This is four ups then. Yep. Yeah. And four up. Boom, 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 boom. I lose an additional four. I've lost eight. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to keep I'll just keep the back guy there, he's in range of the objective. Yep. Uh just trying to keep him straight. There you go. The rest are dead though, that's not great. Okay, charge phase. 
Let's start with the one that matters. It's a big one. Nine, Nine inches there. into the Ophidians. Let's go, guys with stops. Boom, 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 boom. That's an 11. Yes. Welcome. Rawr, rawr, let's go. These are the kind of game deciding rolls I want to see. There you go. There we go. Slash eight. So I'm going to go ahead and do these infiltrators. They're just going to try and get into that lone warrior. Yeah. Need to. That's eight points, so I have to try stop him. That's Four. not going to be enough. The key is, do I re-roll that? You know what? I oh, so I'll probably overwatch them at the start of their charge move. Yeah, go. Uh, yeah. Well, they did make it, so I if know, they yeah. make it, then yeah. then they then you. If can you want to use the reroll, yeah. Yeah. So I will definitely. What's the charge here? That's way longer. Yep, I will spend the CP. Here. All right. Yeah. Okay, I want to try and kill that warrior. Let's go. Ooh, an eight. Yeah. That's what you need, right? It. I needed right. a seven. Yeah. They will Overwatch, and then this guy can Overwatch as well. Neat. They can do both of them. Yep. Yeah. Let's do 12 so twice. So many shots. First one, we got two hits. Yep. And then the second one from the other guy. Uh, okay, much more. He has uh, five hits. Nice. So it's actually 10 hits. It would be 12 hits. That's Threes to wound. We're rolling ones. Oh, my goodness. So Gracious. 11 wounds at minus one. Woo! Cleanup cover. 11 wounds. You got him. I got him. Bra and then the other guy doesn't really need to overwatch then, I guess. Rangers. Might as well try to charge with these Rangers over here. They need a decently large charge. Seven? Not with a seven. All right. Not with a seven, they don't. You know, you get some, you don't get some, but that's okay. Okay. That's awesome. I love these guys. They're so cool. That was, they did pretty good that's for me. That's pretty right good. Yeah. Okay, over here. I'm going to get them in. Gonna I'll just... use death mask on them again to try and keep them alive. Cool. As much as I can. That's... Did we bow shot? Oh, on that yeah. guy earlier? He's fine. He's good. He's not bow shot. So, t two attacks each hitting on threes goes to fours thanks to your masks. Yeah. Decent. Made, you missed Made like a difference. Three, I guess, but yeah. Yeah. they are strength six. Raised to wound. AP one, but dev wound. Yes. So looking for threes, but sixes would mean that you don't have to take saves. Yeah, don't okay. you got a six. Nice. That's afterwards. But threes is not bad, so that would be six. Six and minus one. one. Yeah. All right, six and minus one. These are fives. Yeah. Oh, nice okay. roll. That was a good roll. So that kills that. one. And one takes two wounds. Yeah. Down to one. Yeah, this guy oh, would I'm die. Sure there's more. Oh, sorry. Then I would have to pile it. Yeah, you go into that guy. And then the guy in the middle will be down to one of them. I attacks back. Well, I will go with... I still want I want that Locust Lord to redeem himself. I'm going to be greedy. It's a greedy play. I'm going to have the Locust Lord <laughs> and these guys attack. Yeah, it makes sense. The epic guy. Because he gets his bonus. He's a bully. When fighting a unit below half strength, he gets to do four rerolls to hit and wound. So oh, that's really that's, good. That's a big That's a big difference. Yeah. Who's to hit? Well, now he's not going to roll any. Yeah, now he's like roll two. Uh, <laughs> and that's four wounds at minus three. <laughs> yep. I love it. Five of invulnerable saves. Oh, one goes through. Oh, it's just two damage. Yep, yeah, okay. And then I got the other guys going. The other guys. Oh, uh, that was such a crazy roll. It was, yeah. <laughs> uh, no wounds on them. All right. I'm just going to use him, his taser. He's going to attack the destroyers. If I can try to take out the destroyers and just kill another element, I think that would be very, very useful. Yes. So hitting on fours with Tesla on the goad. Oh, not, not, not enough. Nothing there. I need him to die, so I'm going to put the Ophidians into him. Yeah, makes sense. It'll be 10 attacks. 10 attacks, threes to hit. Not bad. Couple misses, three of them. Fives to wound, but no no lethals, no nothing. No dev Two resistant. at minus two. Five ups. Yeah. Lives with uh, one wound remaining. Damn. Damn. I just can't. He can't get him. He, he's still there. That's true. Well, that'll stop my unit from shooting again, but that's okay, I guess. <laughs> it'll be the end of the turn, so you are going to get... Two points for investigate signals, for back and here. I will keep my three for defense stronghold. Yeah, because you'll, you'll get that on my... I'm not yep. going to stop you from doing that one. So. And that's that. All right, well, that in that case, uh, up, up, increase, up, increase, increase your score. We'll show you what the score is as we go to turn four. This is gone now. Yep. Boom. And then all that matters are these are worth eight for this battle round. And then on battle round five, that's the only one left at 15. Updated score, uh, 22 for me to your 24, 30 actually. So I'm down by eight, but better than down by 11. Yeah, the, the now we're going to see if you go up quite a bit. If that warrior passes his battle shock test, you'll get eight points. I'm probably going to just insane bravery for him. That think, would be a very yes. wise choice. Yes, I <laughs> will be doing that. Oh, the two cards I'll be drawing is Behind Enemy Lines and Cleanse. We'll be two cards this turn. Well, with that warrior, I can cleanse, which is nice. And behind, and the Scarabs can cleanse as well. But the Behind Enemy Lines, I'll probably be ha having to do some fallbacks here. We'll see, or advance. I gotta do some measuring. The goal here would be cleansing this one, 
Scarabs can probably, I don't know if they can cleanse. Ah, they can cleanse the other objective over there. I have to control it though, I believe, uh, by the time cleanse comes around. But hopefully, with some fire support, that will be true. Anyways, uh, I'm definitely going to insane bravery this guy, but the hypothetical roll would have failed. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do some reanimates because I don't think they are at, they could battle shock, so we'll roll them up. They're battle shocked. The who? Uh, the locust destroyers. Oh, the locusts. Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and reanimate. I'll do the scarabs. We're going to go back up to full. Yep. Nice. Good job. Go scarabs. We're going to reanimate these locust destroyers and get back one full locust destroyer. Nice. Then I'll do these guys quickly. Just one wound. Back up to And then the ophidians two. as well. Oh, yes. Yep. We're missing uh, two wounds back. He's back up to full. And I got to put a, I got to put a locust down there. And then I might as well reanimate these guys. Two. I'll keep the two. Uh, it used to be D6, then it was D3, or, or D3 plus 3 near an objective. Now it's a re-rollable D3 no matter where they are. Let's go ahead and just walk around this objective a little bit. There they go. He, not going to risk too, too, too much. Just going to hang out. Very good. Very good. Okay, that's pretty much it for the command phase for scoring. I get eight victory points on that one primary. That's a decent chunk. I don't get this one here. You got so many bodies around it, and I'm battle shocked. I got like four models because of those two. Yep. That's not enough. Then we're good to go to movement. I just got to kind of gum things up, disallow you from getting over to here. I'm either, I probably have the scarabs go over that way, charge things just to do scarab things. And then the rest is going to focus firepower over here. I'm kind of tired of these locusts that are still stuck in combat. I haven't really had much luck of getting them out of there. This, the, these dragoons have been a thorn in my side. They have been amazing. Yes, they've been, hey, um, they've out, been awesome. Out of this world. They've been so good. My locust Ophidian destroyer is going to attempt a desperate breakout to get out of there. Uh, we're going to lose neither one of them. The only real place they can go is back in this corner to hide in the ruins. Can't quite go back. I wanted them to go back here, but they didn't have the movement. Uh, kind of want to keep my locust destroyers where they are to fight in combat, I guess. And I'll just deal with the vehicle in its own way. And then i got to deal with these Fulgurite Electro Priests. That's it. These guys are going to go ahead and move. So we're going to keep these destroyers in combat. The locusts are going to stay still because they have heavy. This hex mark scuttles to there. This hex mark goes up and around. Those warriors just stay where they are because it doesn't really matter. And then the scarabs are going over the, uh, there to gum up the... It's going to be annoying. Lines. Yes, to be annoying. Or they're they're going to try their best to be annoying. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we're good to go to shooting. Right? Yes, well, they're going to start cleansing. Boom. That's the only thing I can really cleanse, but that's still three victory points, which is bad. Yeah. Uh, these, I forget, the main reason I'm not falling back with them is because it'd be a desperate breakout. Plus, I could beat them up melee, I guess, but I gotta get hit first. But it's better than losing them to the desperate breakout. I'm just gonna start shooting with, it's kind of a tough call. I don't think I can screw myself too, too, too bad, but I'm gonna go with them first because they got the most bang for their buck. 24 shots into them. Do 12 twice, here's one of them. Uh, you're on... not hitting on stealth because they are not Skitari. They have nothing, eh? No. Okay, well, I thought it was going to be hitting on threes, but I'm hitting on twos, apparently. That is going to be... Because you didn't move? They have heavy. They have heavy. Yes. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, so a couple misses in there, but we have three extra hits in there as well. So uh, 13 hits. I'm doing it this way. It's second volley of attacks. There's 12 more. Take these out. There's a lot of misses there. They have no sixes. That's only eight hits. Okay, so we got 21 hits. Who's My priest alone, Luca. <laughs> 21 hits. These are your toughness four. T3 on Twos, two, rolling ones. Strength six. Yeah. Ooh, gross. They're, they're, an, they're the guns of hard anti T3. I did and try kill them. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, I tried. Uh, all right, that 20. is 20. I, uh, that's 20 dice. Here's the 20. Okay, there you go. Reroll. All right, exact, 20 exactly okay, out nice. of the 21 hits. Fives. Oh. Is your five up involved and five up feeling the pain effect? Yep. yep. Okay. I don't think they're gonna last. I wish these guys were two wounds. No, they're very, very dead. Oh wow, they got they got pasted by they just got the, annihilated. The heavy guys. That, well, that's that's probably what their perfect target is, I guess. Really. Oh my gosh, that was brutal. Flip. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Okay. Good. Good job. Good well, try. Well, uh, hmm. Hex Marks can still shoot this guy because his vehicle, but they'll have the uh, big guns. Is he stealth? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. He is, it's both. Stealth yeah. and big guns. Mr. Vehicle will have... Not, neither one of them have any targets, so they're both just going to go for him. I'm, I'm just going to roll them all together. I don't think there's a reason not to. Here's all their hits. Uh, threes. Let's roll. Uh, it's T7. Uh, nothing. Okay. Got no charges, so we're right to fight time. Fight time. You get to go first. I should probably charge my scarabs. No, I, you know, you did put yeah. them to gum up the, yeah, quote, quote, gum up the work, so. I'm just going to go for the rangers. 12. All right, awesome. Nice. Uh, with that in mind, we'll go stay away from the vehicle. We'll go up here, maybe, and then, well, 
I have to go. It's hard, yeah, actually. Base. Yeah. I have to go. It's, it's a, I can't get within an inch of him, but I also have to have my base fully on a piece of terrain. That's fine. Don't, yeah. It's I playing on stay. thematic terrain. Don't, we're not going to worry about it too much. That guy's in base contact. He is. Yes. He's, he's <laughs> right. base me there. Up there. Ah, uh, that. I, I will fight with them first. It's 18 attacks. All of their attacks on five, sixes are lethal. We got three feeder mandibles. That's wounds. it. And that's it. That's all we got. And no EP. Four ups. I kill three. <laughs> Nice. Got scarabs. Well, you know how that is. Uh, when you are in trouble, you just call the scarabs. <laughs> and then the big guy. Okay, big guy. Let's go big guy. Four attacks. Good luck. Needing fours to hit with his taser go. This is a last hurrah. <laughs> He's got a two, two hits. Okay, two does. hits. Threes. That's a wound. Two. twice. Eight Five two. You kill one. How are we going to lose this guy? Lost a little bit there. Good job. He's Mr. Locust Lord. Can we finish off this one Dragoon? I got my Lord's Blade. I get four rerolls. One miss, but I get a reroll. You're below half strength. It hits. Nice. And these are strength eight. So three Threes with four rerolls. Oh. You know what that is? Three devastating wounds. <sighs> oh, that. Yeah. Does he explode? <sighs> no. You get him now. I got my three devastating wounds now. <laughs> All right. Whatever. I'll take it. Good job, guys. And that is the end of my turn. I get three points for cleanse. End of fight phase, though? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. They're getting out of it. You need them somewhere. You need them Correct. in the next board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see them later. That's a command point? That is a command point. Gotcha. And on a fight. Oh, I might get, get it back. back. I knew! knew! It was free! <laughs> Consistency! Okay. Uh, <laughs> scoring, I get points for cleanse. What was my other thing? Oh, sorry. No, never mind. My apologies. I don't know if I swore, but I think I didn't. But, uh, I don't think you did. I don't think I did. It was very close. Um, no, they have the Omni Specs, not the control button. So I did spend my CP. Oh, okay, gotcha. They, so they either ignore cover, cover or, or they got the thing. Yes, gotcha. Yes, that yes, makes, yes. Well, they ignore cover makes sense. Actually, still battle shocked. I removed the marker. Incidentally. I need to uh, fight over here, though. Oh, yes, you still have attacks back over there. I did Look at this perfect Four gap little guys. for you to slink through there. Monster. They all hit. Nicely. Three to wounds. That's two. These uh, are the regulars with no AP. Sixes. Two damage. Cool, cool. And then the marshal. And I got the little captain. Yep, sword man. He hits one time. Ooh, rerolls because of the marshal. That's Even true. Even in combat. Two, I believe, at AP one on these. That's a dead scare base. Let me just check to see what it, uh, the... Marshal. Four attacks on the marshal. Threes and rerolls. Excellent. And... Two. Two of them. Uh, yep. Wounds remaining. And that okay. is that is it for the turn. Ooh. I don't get behind enemy lines. They, they're they off by about an inch to do a full retreat backwards, so won't get that. I'm actually just going to... Uh, I kind of want the command points. So I'm going to get rid of it and see what else See what else I get. They can disappear and do whatever I need them to do kind of anyways if they're, if they're still there come the end of Scarry's turn. Stars and turn. you'll gain points for your... Uh, where's your objective back there? That is there. stand. Defend Stronghold. They did right. not take it from you, so that means you'll get your three victory points there and draw two cards on the side of turn. So I decide, well, lo and behold, which ones do I pull? Capture enemy outpost and behind enemy lines. Perfect which cards. Is, which is exactly what I needed yep, yep, um, yep. to be able to just be annoying and to get those as best I can. Okay, so that's going to be the case there. I have, it's going to really help me with the secondary play. Um, however, the primary, I kind of have to do something about those locust destroyers and kill the Lord and the two destroyers or do something to try and like, clog up the works there it's not an easy task but they do they cannot use stratagems because they are battle shot that's the big thing so if there's one turn for me to try and stop luca from scoring primary it's that and then getting into position to try and score it in my last turn so let's see if we can do it so capturing me a post has a victory points easy and then you already have a unit that can just jump over here and do that these guys can get in here well these guys are probably going to do it because they can move and then they're going to advance and then they shoot and then they move another six because so you're going to take the assault weapon correct that's yeah. the at the start of the battle round, that's the one I've been taking. Yeah. These guys can move, uh, advance, and potentially do a charge and get them into position that way. So we'll see. There's lots. There are little options that I have. I do owe you though a battle shock test on this Vanguard unit oh, once again. Remember. They yeah, are battle once shocked. again battle shocked. Yep. And that's all I got for battle shocks. No primary scoring. No. Well, yes. Uh, Engine seer is giving my little tank five off feeling pain. Right. And we're gonna go to move. Yeah. It. We're just gonna get in the movement. Scooting up. Something like that. That works. And then he'll he'll have to jump up that way. Another vehicle, the Dune Crawler, is coming up this way. Putting pressure on the Necron Warriors. Just so you all know, we usually tend to make that things like this don't block vehicles. Cor yeah. We just because we use like very thematic terrain. So yeah. if we it was like that, it would be terrible for no. like big if mobile you're, units. 
If you're telling your opponent they can't move through gas with the vehicles, you're, tr you're playing the game. Too, you're trying too hard to play the game. You're like trying way too hard. <laughs> All right. Uh, Just I know people are gonna watch that. Yeah. Like, Does it even fit? They're gonna be keyboard warrioring the yes. crap out of that. No way, dude. Uh, the Pedraxi Sky Stalkers. Uh, they will advance for a grand total of Ooh, an inch. one additional inch with the fly. Plus Thirteen. So want them to get within range, and they can't quite get around there without one. So. Yeah, so I get? need more than a one. What do you need? Hopefully. Like, uh, okay, well, well, not that. We know okay. one's not gonna. That's work, not guys. gonna happen. Attempting the second advance. They go ten. Ten. It's gonna go. Oh, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna go threaten these guys because they can advance and. Can no, they advance only with a CP, oh, with which I just CP. used, right, which is okay. fine. Mm -mm. Want to save Overwatch for? I can't see. That. I don't care. I'm not gonna Overwatch. I'll save it for later. Can't really see. I couldn't see them at the start. I can't really see them at the end either. So. so Those battle shock guys are coming out this way. Yep. Comes the other Vanguard squad. Two Vanguard units, both kind of hurt. Yep. And the reserves. Uh, yep. We have the General, the Marshal, and his Ranger showing up back here. Uh, out of like just getting within range of the objective for capturing enemy outposts and then having a second unit behind enemy lines. So that's a well, well spent command point. Get you right back in the game, secondary wise. And uh, I could Overwatch. I'm not going to buy. It's like I'll save it for like a charge or something instead. I'll probably yep. get more value out of it there. We'll see, we'll see. And now we got some shooting too. Now I'm in a bit of a pickle, mm -hmm. because if I kill both of them, he doesn't have to test Battle Shock. And, and I'll give him 15, 15 points. points. Yep. So if I do commit to killing them, I have to kill all of them. Or you leave them alone, I got a pretty good firing base. Uh, well, yeah. if you bring one model back, I have to kill one. Exactly one. Like, like I have to kill one check. to force yeah. Battle Shock and hope that you fail it. That's the most reliable way of doing it. If I shoot and kill both of them, Right. That's just going to be bad. Yeah. So let's start with things that don't have a choice, and we'll kind of move on from there. Where do you want to start? So we're going to start with them. They don't have a choice. They're just going to shoot into those Necron Warriors. Gotcha. So oh, many shots. Hitting on fours, though. Yeah. Because you're not, you're not a crazy... I wish I could add... They had, like, a flying marshal that you could add to, like... Uh, <laughs> to reroll these know. guys. Yeah. yeah, that'd be so cool. Or some sort of stratagem that would give me mortal wounds. Oh, no. Like Wrath of Mars. We don't need that. Somewhere, not here, I guess. Uh, fives. Boom. Be warrior saves. That's all three dead. All right. Well, that was easy. That was that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. They move. And now, because there's a battle line unit here, though, they get to move their 12. Ooh, that's not bad. So I'm going to definitely be moving them up their 12. Hello there. Why, hello there. How are you? Uh, they could shoot that hex mark, but then I get shot back. So I'm not really excited <laughs> about that prospect. Um, over here, though, we do have a couple of shots that don't really have a choice. So I've got two... Uh, long ranged, uh, so a plasma culver, two plasma culver shots, then an arc rifle into them. I would do death mask on them just because I can't really do I guess I could do it on them. You're not gonna have too many more shots at them though. Ah, whatever, I don't care. I'll just do it on them. <laughs> Start with this unit back here, just an arc rifle. Getting five? Nope. And then we got the plasma. I will be overcharging this. Fives? Nope. Does he explode and kill himself? No, he does not. One little pistol from my marshal into your scarabs. Okay. Pre-roll. No. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Okay. Comes down to the tank. All the stubbers into them, because they have uh, cilier saves. Yep. The and then everything, all the missiles and stuff into the guys that are over there. Yeah. So let's do first? the stubbers first. Stubbers. It's a bazillion shots. It is a lot. Hitting on fives, though, because you decided to death mask yourself. Yeah. Obviously, it's the most used stratagem, apparently. Like, it, is that, it is a fantastic strategy. One CP, negative one hits, not bad. Uh, That's a damn good roll. That was a good roll. Yeah. Needing fours, though. Only oh, strength four? Yeah. yeah. Uh, six. Uh, three of saves because it doesn't ignore cover. Okay, that does wound one down to one. Okay, there. And then all the big guns over there. All right, let's do the missile first. This is the... Beep, 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 this is the actually, no, let's do the Ferris. The right. Ferris cannon first. Fours to hit. Okay, one, one hit. Um, one wound. Minus? Uh, two on the... Fer oh, no. Uh, three on this big one, I believe. All right, that does not matter. That is D6 damage, I believe. The top gun's not fixed? Uh, I don't think. Two wounds left, I guess. Oh, sad. And then the missiles. Actually, it could be the perfect loadout for me. One hit. Okay. That's a wound. That's a wound. That's a five. AP2 on this. I will three up to a five up there, good. Ah, oh, sad. Adam. You got the Doom Crawler still? Yeah, he'll end up shooting at them as well. I'm I have to try kill that one. I've committed now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do. Just everything into them? Yeah, let's go it. ahead and do the. Um, sum up with it. What's that of rapid fire? Two big cannon shots. Pew pew. Ah. All right. <laughs> <And> <laughs> Just, that thing's not hitting. Stubber. You got two stubbers. No. Oh, it does have two yeah. stubbers. First one doesn't matter. Four hits. Second one gets four hits. Awesome. Five to wound. Okay. Yeah, 
might happen. Oh, it might actually happen. Two wounds, three. <laughs> we're good. No, you're fine. We're good. Oh, no. The fact that you did one wound still gives you the chance of this going south for me. Yep. Because of the way reanimates work. Charging. Gonna get that little guy in there. 11. He's in. That's uh, this, this unit here. Seven. seven. They're gonna awesome. go over Good here job. as well. They're all just gonna bunch up over there. What's oh, sorry? They're all bunching up over on my And then over this guy as well. Oh yeah, welcome. There's so yeah. many, so many rangers of Vanguard over there. Going. They're just gonna have ones at the top, ones at the bottom, whatever that. That's it for charging. That's it. That's all I got. Well, I guess so, we'll just resolve all that nonsense down there. Yeah. I'm gonna pop a scarab, I guess. Who are you? The, oh, this guy. I mean, that guy's probably got a lot of wounds. He's though. got three. I'll games. just go. I'll pop it against them. So it uh, roll on a one. Nothing happens. On a six, good things happen. Uh, it's D3 plus three mortal wounds, I think. Is it? Really? Or is it, it's either that or flat three. Just three mortal wounds, pop, Ouch. pouch. Pop, it just leaves you with the... That's very... Sergeant? Very good, yeah. All right, not bad. Not terrible. The sergeant's gonna pile in, try and take out that four wound scarab. Uh, uh, nope. nope. Then we got these two guys there. The battle shock sergeant. vanguard. Hit. One hit, one wound. Yep. And uh, then regular guy, one hit, one wound. So one save and one no save, because it's AP one on that. That's two damage so far. Okay. I got two and wounds then left. Your... Oh, and then he gets to go. Yep. He'll be within an inch still. I'm piling yep. in. I don't know what he has. Serve arm. On the engines here. Hits. Oh, it hits. Kills. Yeah, just dead. Two damage. Oh. Boom, boom, my bugs. Uh, Lots of points on secondary. 13 so... points. Yeah. 10 for... It should... No, it was eight, 8 plus 5. Yeah. Yes. So take my objective. That's 8. And then two units in my territory. That's 5. That's 13 secondary. Yep. Putting you at 35, 35, already almost maxed out. Think for the, in case I get some cool options, which would mostly be capture enemy outpost on like a charge or something, which would be still difficult to do. Cause I can't think of anything else I'm gonna get from them that I would need. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put them in reserve. I'm just gonna leave them right there, but they're gonna show up in my movement phase on turn okay, five. So they're, they're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, and then seeing what you captured, Yes. That doesn't mean they don't get to reanimate. No reanimating. But they're not going to really get much out of reanimating mm -hmm, anyways. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to my turn five. Let's take a look at the score before we go to turn five, though. You're just crushing me in the secondary game. I have 17 secondary to your 35, but I got 13 primary to your five. Yep. And I'm going to gain 15 more primary here. Uh, not necessarily. Nah, hopefully I will. That's true. Uh, I might not. I might not. There I don't, is a chance a that chance. you will not. That's true. <laughs> well, I did draw capture enemy outpost. Pretty clutch. It's going to require a charge still, but with the Annihilation Legion's mechanics, we might be able to make something like that happen. My second card is no prisoners. That's just kill things. I kind of planned on doing that anyway, so we're going to hopefully just chain that and keep that going. Two points for everything I kill up to like some six or something. Maybe eight. No, it's five. It's five. Objective in the middle is now removed. This is the yep. only objective that lingers. Out of all the objectives, it could have stayed. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, well... So, do I have any battle shock? No, I mean, sorry, do I have any before, I have anything to do before battle shock? So, is a uh, reanimation after battle shock? It's the end of the command phase. Uh, yeah, you have okay, the battle shock okay. first. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So, that's it. I guess we're just at that. What's the leadership of the Lord? I think it's six. Nothing's going to augment it, so we're going to roll for dramatic effect. Uh, okay. Ah, oh, they Eight. hold. That gives you your 15. That'll get 15 primary, because I'm nice. down by one model. Now I reanimate. Yeah. Uh, three wounds. So, I get. One guy yeah, back and one at two. Nice. Well, came down to a battle shock roll. He's gonna random. It was cool. Up the battle shock was re relevant. However. I agree. Yeah. Uh, cool. I do have a few more. These guys are not here. They're not gonna reanimate. But we are gonna have the heavies reanimate. I need a five up to get a model back. This guy just goes back up. If I got a model back, that would have been spicy, and that should be it. So I gotta kill things. I gotta kill your things. It'll be hard to kill your warlord. So. Uh, scoring, I get 15 points on primary, and now it's act now I gotta stop Scary from getting there. Uh, he can, I gotta keep something on the objective because he can put things in reserve, and I have to make sure I kill your fast. I gotta kill them, and them, and keep something on the objective, and hopefully don't make a charge roll <laughs> or something. That's like the plan. That's the turn. Yep. So I got, they technically, how how fast do they move normally? They move eight. They're kind of annoying, but I guess I could like walk in front of them. I hope. Not really with one law, it's not gonna do much. We'll figure it out. Let's move this hex mark is coming down here. He's got uh he's got names to take. He's got enemies to kill. <laughs> They're gonna stay still because they got good good shots on this guy. And then this hex mark's gotta figure out where he wants to go, and then they're gonna reposition, and then I put my reserves down and that's it. But the hex marks coming out, they're staying still, they're just gonna stay on the objective. And then the Ophidian show from reserve back there. I'm gonna overwatch you with my rangers. Yes, with the rerolls and well. everything. Yeah, I get that. Five rifles. This is we'll the squad of rangers. Galvanic rifles. 
Three. One hit. Three rolls, though, for the uh, Marshal. That Marshal, worth his weight in gold. Oh, there we go. Four Eight fours, two. though. Two, four Three. ups. Hey, roll. Oh, beautiful roll. Then we've got the arc rifle. Actually, we'll do the pistols. Sure. Pistol. So just, sorry, the one pistol from the Marshal. No, nope. and then we have the arc rifle, because everything else is dead. Nope. Three rolls. Three rolls. Damn. Oh, I was really hoping to kill one at least the did. one, but well done. Okay, well, my shooting, I'm going to start with my heavy locust destroyers. Oh, oh. <sighs> no. what were we thinking? Uh, yeah, we're going to fire at them with their 24 shots. Let's get all the dice ready yep. so we don't have to deal with two rolls. Uh, they're stealth. They're stealth. So and, three stealth. And benefit of cover. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. 20 out of 24, I'm just going to reroll misses. One, two, three, four misses exactly. Uh, those miss. And then we had two sustains as well, so everything hits. Look nice. at that. Increased wound. We're rolling any ones because they are not a monster. They hate things. Or are they a vehicle? Indeed they do. Okay, it helped. Uh, in the end, uh, 17 wounds at minus one, but you have the benefits of cover. And uh, fours. Fours, yep. Every two is a dead guy, I guess. One, two, three, four. Leaves one guy alive. One guy's left alive. All right. I'm left with one of them. I'm just going to have this hex mark go for him, trying to yep. take him out. Threes, because of stealth. And two, threes. 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 Three saves at minus two. Five ups. Oh, you got it. Five up. Some points for no prisoner. Uh, this guy here. We'll go, we're gonna just put shots right into the infiltrators in front of us, I guess. Yep. They get stealth as well, so just threes to hit. Burp. Couple misses. Very average. Love it. I love it. They're just obfuscated, uh, kind of weird. Toughness four as well. Too. Threes. You have two saves. Fives. I nope. kill one. Kill one, and another one takes moon. Boop, boop, boop. Blop, blop. That. Infiltrator. You have the destroyers left. Yes. These three locust destroyers definitely want to put some pressure on to kind of want to kill the character off just to get the character kill or try to at least. Uh, might be a little overkill, but and I, I don't want to kill him because I want to use him as a plus one to charge bonus. So uh, we are going to go for the the engines here, I guess, on everything. Why not? Just don't get any rerolls because I'm not targeting the tank. So these are through fours take as a stealth. Fives are lethal though. No, he's not Skitari. Oh, okay, forced to hit then. Yeah. So I got three wounds and a hit. Uh, four wounds. Four wounds. He uh, has a, a three up save, and your uh, AP is. Two, I think. Let me check. All right. It's all five. Doesn't so really okay. matter. No, you don't roll fours. You got him. Six damage. Dead. Boom, 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 boom. Two points. Blah. First thing they shot all game on turn five. <laughs> Second <laughs> thing. Second thing. Oh, they shot early. Okay, okay. Yeah. And charging. Oh, that's right. Uh, yep, charging. So the Ophidian destroyers are. The rule is, if you, as long as one or more of the targets you declare a charge against are under half strength, they get plus one to the charge roll. I'm mm -hmm. going to go for the Marshal and that guy. Yeah, Marshal's unit and the one lone yes. guy. So you need eights. An eight. Looking for an Very eight. Nice. They get to reroll. With a reroll because you don't oh. like me. We are... Ten. Oh, Eleven. Make it. Very nice. Uh, we have to go for him. So we're going to go... You're going to go in there. Mm -hmm. And then this guy has to go here as well. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. Whatever. This guy will take the wound. So it's kind of risky all the same, but we'll see. I like it. Oh, that is it for charges here. Uh, that guy is going to charge both the units there. Okay. The Dune Crawler and the Rust of the Infiltrators. Well, seven. He likes it. Uh, I think that's all my charges. So cool. we're just good like that. Love I'm it. I'm just going to fight first over here. I got. They're going to attack. They're going to use the Spore of Frailty here, uh, which is a strat for Destroyer Cult stuff. I think Blade ones too, but mm -hmm. uh, anytime these, these guys go to attack, any attack that targets a unit under half strength. Or under starting strength is plus one to hit. Any attack that targets unit under half strength is plus one to wound as well. Nice. So any so all the attacks into the main unit will be plus one to hit. Any attacks into this guy is plus one to hit and wound. Nice. I'm gonna do two of his attacks into him. Yeah. And then the rest of the attacks into the unit, just to try and put some damage on it. Yep. Ten attacks in total. So two attacks into him, and then the other eight will be into the rangers. Combat. So into the one single guy, two to hit. Ooh, two to wound. I got a wound. Six up invul? Yeah. Oh! That's the difference of two points. We got eight <laughs> attacks into the unit there. Silly and little guy survived. Look twos. at him go. Threes. Ah, okay. Five. So five saves at minus two. Boop, boop, boom. You kill five. All right. Boop, boop, boom. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll, yeah. So you we'll got kill it. him to pin them in place. Gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. Who get your attacks back? So I'll start with him. Yep. Because there's only one guy that has a wound left. I'm gonna death mask them as well. Just try okay. to keep them alive. Yep. Hitting on five. That's my last command point. Oh my gosh. Strength five. So threes. <sighs> 
Two at eight. Four one. sixes. Four. <laughs> oh my gosh, we lived. I can't believe these rolls. Holy crap. Don't we'll have the Marshall come in, try and get some damage in here. I'm gonna start with just one guy hitting on fives. Regular guy. And then Marshall. The, the re-roll, that's yep. right. And now the Marshall, oh. if I can kill that one guy, one protects yep. my uh this is, comes down. It's a lot. There's a lot of victory points. I know. That's uh, a lot of <laughs> victory points. No pressure or anything. Yeah, Hitting out no threes pressure. normally. So fours with the death mask. But he's got a rule. Come on, Marshall. You can do this. Death mask not helping Strength too much. Strength six, I believe. So threes. Doesn't matter what. Ooh. Three. I believe it's only AP one, but it might be AP two. AP one. AP wow. one with his start. His oh. little thing of. Uh, oh, he's dead. Hooray! Okay. One damage. Yeah. He's got two moves left. All right. That's my bad. I should have put the wounded guy out front, but I was. I don't know. I didn't think about it. Okay. Okay. So that means I don't get capture enemy outposts because I had to charge into them. Now can I get? It does keep these guys pinned down over here? It though. does. It. Now, there was a cool thing I wanted to show off here, but I want to talk about it anyways. Had that one model killed this guy, I could have triggered a strat instead of the death mask. Uh, had I killed him, would have done murderous reanimation. Kill upon killing a unit, you immediately trigger reanimate. Nah. Would have given me more wounds, I think, over the death mask. But the death mask was my fail safe, I guess. Yep. It would have been cool because if I had high enough roll, I could have had one more model back. Or here. just bring that guy to full wounds and then he stays alive. Clearly, I should put yeah. three attacks into that unit. Not Clearly. Two. I got way too greedy there. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, that is. Do the hex mark over here. Oh, yes. He gets to punch things, doesn't he? Got four attacks into them at strength of five. So he's got one hit. Hey, and a wound. Into the... No AP. Okay. Got Kills one. the one guy. I'll take it. And that's it. They get to fight back. Fawn fours. Needing uh, sixes to do good, cool things. No. And on threes. One with no AP. Ah, uh, that's the damage. And then the Doom Crawler. Four wounds left. Fours. Oh, nice. Threes. Oh, no, okay. Then. Sure, sure, sure. Talk. sure. That's it. That's my turn. That's that. I got no more gameplay here. Okay. Secondaries. Uh, I got what I killed two units. I killed them. And the the tech priest. And the tech priest, yes. Yeah. So I got four points instead of five. That's not bad. Let me give you an update on the score right now before we go to Scarry. What a I, crazy close game. I think turn. your turn is a quick, easy, just... It, it, it yeah. depends on what cards I draw. It actually all comes down to that, which is nice. You can't ask for a closer game. Yeah. Tallied up final score for getting 15 on the primary and then the additional four points on secondary there. Had I got... That cat, that's how close I was. That capture enemy outpost would have put me over the top. I'm currently at 49 victory points. I got no tertiary. Scari, before he does his turn, and he gets to score primary at the end of his turn, will be at 46. So I'm up by three victory points. He he will get three points for behind enemy lines at the end of the game. That's one of the tertiaries that'll bring him to four, that'll tie the game. And then to win, he's required to score a secondary or muscles win of the objective, which does look difficult, but doable. After this, we'll do this turn very quick. So bring it down and attempting target. Those are Scarry's draws. I'm gonna get rid of bring it down yes, because uh, I don't have any of those. Don't have any vehicles. I wish there was a way to score a vehicle or whatever. Kill something on an objective. I have you only have the destroyers. This. Yeah. That okay. could do it. That could that be could, it. That could do it. That's where all the firepower will come in. So tempting target is I would just pick the destroyers because that's, anyways, the, only that's the only target. This is literally and if the you only get that, target. you win. So yep. Oh that's my that. goodness. So it's gonna come down to overwhelming force. <sighs> I like it. <laughs> Battle shock. Battle shock tests. They are good. Probably finally. Fine. Uh, that's so good. many little weak units. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's actually really good because all it does is it stops you from being able to reanimate like into the deployment zone or onto the objective. I don't have any more it. reanimates. Yeah, but if you kill the unit and spend oh, the CP. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, yeah, true, true, So I'm true, just true, gonna. True. I figured he was dead. I didn't even think I was gonna get to that point. Actually, I could just like move away. It, like, yeah, I don't you could just a, move away. I don't yeah. have a fullback and shooter charge, so. I have a strat that I could like do mortal wounds to them, but I think I want to save mine for death mask. So you're probably safe. I only have the one CP, so. Uh, so this guy's by himself, so he yep. just goes back, and this guy, they're the marshal, so he's gonna do yep. that. Like, there's no point in. Killing this guy doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, and I don't want to give you. Okay, so then there's this guy. He's coming up. We're going to save that CP for tank shock? Yeah. <laughs> I have zero CP. We have zero CP. Yeah. We, we did new orders. Yeah. All right. All right. We did. I did. Well, you orders. did. Yeah. I did. Fair. <laughs> we got these guys a little tied up. I assume that Doom Crawl is just going to shoot from combat. That's Doom Crawl is just going to yeah. shoot in combat. It just gives him a negative one to hit. Oh, which, which uh, because of the fact you were going to tie him up, they were. I was going to get the hold and get heavy. Basically, not that it matters for anything else. Oh, we call it. That's the one we're going for. For him. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, actually, no, it doesn't. No, I would have probably done advance and shoot, just in case you fail that charge. Because then I would have tried to advance, shoot, and then charge. Oh, you declared the start of the battle round. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so that doesn't matter. They're just going to kind of stay still. I was really hoping to get assassinate. Oh, just... <laughs> yeah, it's just... That would have been, like, yeah. the perfect... The perfect storm. They're not going to... They're... Oh, I, the thing is, you could overwatch. 
Like, well, I only got one CP, so I'm either overwatching or uh, sh death, death masking. masking. Yeah. Well, it's not like I don't think you can kill the entire unit. Well, them overwatching and then then him overwatching could be nasty. Um, I don't know, unless you deny theirs. Line of sight. They are going to be coming out here. I have to try and get them the guns up. Get the guns on them. I'm gonna. I will. I guess I'll advance them regardless. Yeah, we have the assault. What's Everything's the, out of What's advance. 18? So 18, can I stay outside of 18 and within 30? Yes. So they're gonna stay outside of 18 of those big guys. Well, that means I'm just gonna overwatch with him then, because yeah. they're not as effective. <laughs> so yeah, he'll overwatch them. Six shots. Yeah. Okay. Twos. One miss. It's a wound. Uh, five Four, wounds. Five. Miss two ignores cover. It kills three. Three, all right. That's three less shots, I guess. Oh, they're two shots each, not rapid yeah. fire anymore, right? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, that unit's gonna shoot all the way over here. Death mask. Mask no, of course. death. Plasma. plasma caliber first. Hitting on fives. Rerolls. Rerolls. Come on, plasma caliber. Oh, then we're gonna do the arc bus. Misses. Rerolls. Re ah, yes. there does it wound? It yes. does. AP2 ignoring the cover I have, so five up. Mm -hmm. Phew, we fail that. D3 on the one guy that's wounded. How many wounds do they have? Two? He has two left, he so did. I kill one. Gribis pops that destroyer off. He's out of here. Two okay. left to go for. And then I do have the... Oh, I owe you a uh, hazardous. hazardous test there. Oh. He does. Hey. Good. Hey. Right. And four rifle shots. Four little rifle shots. Four. Hitting on fives. And the marshal. The I will say, these marshals... Absolute money. Ah, oh, that, that second chance always Being feels fun. a little good. It's like dodge and blood bolt. Nothing. It's nice to have. Nothing. Yeah. Sometimes it matters, sometimes it's, but it's nice to feel like that, like you got it right. The flinch at pistols will just shoot into him. Oh, you may have to kill him. You get you free if you do probably a little better shooting. Um, fours. All right. Nope. Okay. okay. So they're doing crawler will shoot. Just everything over there. Yeah. Yeah. At the destroyers. Correct. Boom. Big cannon. Big one. Five. Ba Boom. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's heavy. But it didn't move. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. Didn't Double matter. five. Scary. Two to wound. Did AP four? Ay, 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 ay. Oh, oh no. no. Why? Uh, two AP four. Fails that. D6 plus one damage. Okay. Does he kill it? Yes. yes. There's okay. one left. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my goodness. Great. No CP. It's just okay. straight dice rolling at this point. Yeah. The neutral laser is heavy, by the way. So it would have been. Heavy. Oh, okay. Four yeah, is yeah. to hit then. That's not so bad. Yeah. Okay. Better than three, though. So the heavy stubber. Okay. Fives to hit. Only one hit. Ooh. It does not win. And then we're left with And then the... we are left with the man of the hour. Leave a comment down below if you felt confident that the game relied on the capabilities of your disintegrator. That's right. Until you only have to kill one model. I uh, don't put it, don't put that in the <laughs> universe, bro. Okay. Just gotta kill one model. <sighs> what are we starting with? So we're gonna start with the twin linked missiles. Missiles first. Okay, so hitting on fives because you're death mask. You got a scary, scary mask. Ooh, one I got a hit. One hit. That's all you need. Okay. wound. Does it wound? Twin linked? It does. This is AP2. Oh, no cover. We're D point blank. Six damage. Yes, oh, I got game. him. That's game. We don't have to and play And that anymore. is game. Boom. <laughs> you will win. And then I would charge. Yes. And take the objective because he's, unless, unless, well, I'd have to shoot, but I could. Uh, uh, you might, no, you'd be, I'd probably. You're OC2. Uh, he's OC2, yeah. I'm, so I would potentially shoot you to death. Sure, yeah, I don't think I want to, you know, you know, I, I want to roll it. I want to roll The disintegrator? The disintegrator, fives. Oh, a couple hits. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is strength like 14. Uh, so, two? twos. Yeah. Two invulnerables, please. Oh, oh kill them both. Two Ds. <laughs> oh, this dad. is actually really bad. That's a bad thing. You still win, you still win, but. <laughs> no. He's he just dies. <laughs> well, now I can't make it onto the All objective. Right. Well, no charging, but you still get tempting target. Okay. Five yes. Points. Overwhelming force. That's actually two units killed on there for five. Okay. Points. There you go. Five points. That's a five point and win. And that's game. That's game. Five point win overall. Oh. I'll give you the full tally of what that looks like. And in the mini working vault available to YouTube and vault members, you better believe we continue the action. This will be the Canoptic Court, one of the new Necron detachments from their codex, up against the Adeptus Aurorita, the Sisters of Battle, in a good old fashioned fight on a shrine world. Now, if you're not a member and you want to check it out, all you have to do is click on the link down below to sign up for a seven day free trial where you'll have access to it, as well as the rest of the content we have in the vault to go along with it. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the battle report, and I'll catch you all next time very soon. Oof. I didn't change my score. I say a 49. Scary goes up to 54, I guess, yep. would be your total score. Or 45 plus 9. Yeah, 54. I think we both did pretty bad, score-wise. <laughs> well, this Realist mission yeah. on Dawn of War tends to be like this. Yeah, that, I, I agree. I agree. In fact, I got 28 primary. worked out really well for me. 
21 to 40, your secondary game is very strong. Your tertiary game is way better than mine. Absolutely. Well, you did throw your Warlord into the middle of the table. I always do. Yeah, whatever. It's all good. That's, <laughs> it. That's the glory of the game. That's Warhammer. If, you're, if your Warlords aren't dueling in the middle of the table... Mine not... was a coward yeah, with some, all his buttons. Some that can't be that can't be avoided. That's just the, <laughs> the nature of the beast there. But that is the game. 54 to 49. Not bad. That is it. That is the Annihilation Legion against your Vanguard, Skatarii... Uh, uh, the, the force, the cohort of stealthy sneakiness. Yes. Um, yes. <laughs> which one? The Skitari hunter cohort. Oh, the hunter cohort. Of which, course, by of the way, has been my favorite. It's the only one I've played, and it's already my favorite. How many? How many? There are five. There's ones. five detachments. So you have the that? rad cohort, which is like your standard one. You have one that has to do with like cult mechanica stuff specifically, like the Fulgrite, Fulgrite priests. So uh, the Castellan robots, like the Cataphrons, yeah, all that then, stuff. Yeah. Then you have the Skitari one, which is really fun. Is that the one you just played, or is that, yeah? So that one, I like the, I, and then you have this Data Psalm Conclave, which is all about cult mechanicus, right? Okay. So like priests and things. You have the Explorator Maniple, which is. About, all about taking objectives. You get like re-rolls when attacking stuff on objectives oh, or when being on objectives. Okay. Like it just, it's all about bullying the objective markers. Is that when I need keywords specifically or is that just No, it's just an Adeptus Mechanicus model. Okay. So that one's more generalist. And then you've got the Cohort Cybernetica, which is Legio Cybernetica units. Oh, is that just like robots, robots and, robots and, stuff? and stuff? Interesting. But I really liked how cool this was. I never tried the little Pedaraxi Skybird guys. And they oh, they have a lot fun. of utility. Yeah, they they yeah. mostly they scored a bunch of points. Absolutely, they did. And bouncing it back into reserve is always a really strong mechanic. Um, well, options are. High I am games. pleasantly surprised at this disintegrator. He did it in the end. He won the game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he did too 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 much before that little no, lackluster. He had the he had the ability to, but the fact that you were making all my fours hit on fives. Yeah. Was it was that uh, rough? Annoying. Yeah. The death mask. I like. I looked at the strats here. Out of all of them, the only ones I think that are really, really cool. There's some. The problem is like when you're shooting. Like there's one where you shoot me and I move towards you. Like that's kind of cool, but like almost unnecessary, because that's like all it really does. Uh, but falling back, doing more wounds. That's pretty strong. The death mask is obviously a very powerful one because that's just. It's only flayed one and destroyer cult, but my entire army was flayed one and yep. destroyer cult. I went hard in the and it went Legion. very heavy into me. That was all ballistic skill four. Yes, and it was very effective against BS four and Absolutely. weapon yeah. skill four. So it was like yeah. it literally changed. I was using the it like, math like by fifty percent. Just slashed yeah. half of my hits for I, the whole game. It was great. I um, I think I used it probably like eight times this game, if not like if not more. It was the one I definitely went to the most. Yep. It was very good. Yeah. I don't know. Like it was like you were watching the die rolls that obviously mattered over the course of eight uses. Some less more than others. Some very important. Like um, they're alive because of it. And on one of the rolls, I was double checking that. I got really lucky there. I mean, in theory, they would have had to wound still, and I would have had my save. But it, it would have looked suspicious all the same. Ah, uh, the Annihilation Legion. I'm not like I will, I'm going to give them all like a fair shot. I now, granted, I also know that like. You're not supposed to, well, well, if you want it to really shine, you don't have to go 100% into the on-theme units. But I always like to try to play the detachments like as as skewed towards what it might be as possible and make the list slightly playable, obviously, with synergies and stuff oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Warriors, like, for me, the Annihilation Legion is all the crazies. We talked about it earlier, right? The flayed ones, the destroyers, uh, the ones that are succumbing to viruses, the, the internal viruses that kind of drive them mad. Uh, the warriors, you can like justify anything in the list technically if you like flay one and flay it, because uh, you can have like flayed one lich guard, they like lords and overlords succumbing to flayer virus. You could, you could put them in, you just get the strats and whatnot. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to go all destroyer cult, all flayed ones. Obviously, I like the flayed ones. They're really, really, really gambly, but they can just win you a game on their own. I find in a lot of ways, like you just deploy them all, like three squads of five, save the points. The, the turn squads one of five are my favorite. Yeah. I just love because they're cheap enough. And they're annoying enough that if somebody gets, like, doesn't think about it and puts stuff on the line, and you yeah. just go first and Turn just one run charges. in, and yep. especially against things like Eldar, who love putting like warp spiders at the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. An yeah, Ortark, yeah. and you're just like, mm. just I'll just go do my like 20 attacks in that yep. one character. Yeah, and just with yeah. twin links yep. because why not? At the very least, you're like keeping them in the deployment zone for the first turn. That's yeah. that like flayed ones alone will win you games yep. if if everything lines up nicely and they're cheap enough that it matters. Yeah, they're, they're 70, 70 points for five. It's so good, I believe. They're really good. Yeah, yeah, something like that. To me, they're a big winner. I love flayed ones. I like them. Yep. I, uh, as for Admech, I haven't played them very often, but no, just not at all. Yeah. I, it was nice having lots of little units everywhere. 
OG having style. a good core of battle line, like I had a good core of like the four units of battle line. I didn't really feel I needed more than that. However, in, in retrospect, I would have used the marshals in the Vanguard units. Instead of the Rangers? Just yeah. because of the anti-infantry four plus. Yeah. At least in that initial skirmish where we were having, I just, having the rerolls and stuff that would have just wounded you on fours, I think would have been much better. Yeah, overall, Yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, because you had the range. Like the other ones just have bigger range, so the better like late game when you're shooting shots way down. Yeah, well, then again, at the that. end of the day, it was nice to have my warlord just hiding in the back and yes, just didn't give like, up warlord kill right yeah, or anything yeah, like that. It was, because it was the, good. the the ranger units or the vanguard units are kind of beat up, so could I would have probably focused more if one of them had the warlord in it, for example. Yeah. What do you think about the tertiaries? I love. I I really really like that. That was very fun. I feel it's a great way of using the ten points for battle ready. If you're always going to use battle ready, We're all, like, that's the thing. We're already. It always, does. It yeah. makes it more exciting. And if you're an old timer like us, yes, it takes you back a few editions. Correct. Where keeping your world alive was important. But they were a big piece, so you wanted to play. It was like a queen. correct. It's like your queen, right? Yeah. Maneuvering around the battlefield and getting to that, and making sure you tried to like kill something on that first turn instead of just hiding, which a lot of like. The best play is usually just to hide on turn one, is yeah. stage, and not really do anything. Anyway, I like it. It was yeah. very fun. I like it a lot. Yeah, because it, it just re rewards like different play, different types of play. Yeah. Because uh, there's not like there are a few mechanics that have like interaction with the enemy warlord, but overall, most of the games don't, which I find kind of weird for 40k. Because to me, 40k has always been like literally nothing in the army. To me, now I guess that's a little biased to me. Nothing in the army matters. The only thing that matters is the warlord, the funny, the cool fighty guy. That's but yeah. you make them cool and fighty. I make, guys. Yeah, Because exactly. that's a Luca thing. That's it's like a yeah. Luca special. Yes. If you make the killiest, fightiest warlord and you run him straight at the enemy, and if he's flipping tanks and annihilating entire units, Luca is the happiest camper in the yes. world. He'd just be sitting there, a smile on his face, <laughs> yep. for all he dies. Yeah, exactly. Then if he, I usually don't, I, I hate it when they die to something, but I'm always really aggressive with them because I like for them to do something. My, well, like, it depends on the army I'm playing. There's some armies that just don't have fighty warlords, but even if I'm playing Sisters of Battle, I still run around with like a cannon with a blessed blade, just trying to carve up as much as I would as definitely I can. not run a marshal up the board into no, yeah, Annihilation exactly. Legion, unless he just wanted to be annihilated. I don't think there's too many ad mech characters. Uh, Cole is the only yeah, one, but he's, true. you know, like, he's, he's cool. chunky. Yeah, exactly. And he's, you know, he's, he's cool. Yeah, and if he dies, there should be some weight behind that, right? Correct. Yeah, there are, like I said, there's a few armies that interact with the Warlord kill, but mechanically, there's not too much at all. So I like to see it in play a little bit here. Even Sigmar has Warlord kill. Because you lose command points. Mm -hmm. Now imagine if you didn't get your start of round command points in this game. If you lost your warlord, that'd be kind of nasty. People would uh, think again about picking their warlord here and there. I suspect. There's only there are only like what is it? Imperial knights is like the only thing that matters when you kill a warlord. The new uh, there's like the new neck round attachment for like the lich guard one. If you kill the enemy warlord, everyone else has minus like the harder battle shocks for the rest of the game. Sure. Very situational. Yes. But yes, exactly. That's, that sounds fun, though. <laughs> that's the thing they can do, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but it, then you got to be careful, too, sometimes, because sometimes, like, oh, let's play, like, uh, Kill the World, and then I got, like, the super hard to kill, like, four up, feel no pain, Overlord, or whatever. Yeah. Yep. So it's hard to, like, gauge the balance of it, but whatever. It doesn't, it's, it's the 10 points, anyways. Anyways, uh, as for the ad back, this is the first time I played against them for the like longest time they felt very ad mechy which i liked you got to pick well i wish there was a little bit more choice between the is it the canticles uh is no the, that's the doctrinas the doctrinas so yeah. the doctrinas are very much like you either stay still and shoot stuff or yeah. you move and shoot stuff move and, but yeah. one of those is going to be better than the other almost all the time the movement one is just yes. very good and a lot of people tend to just do it with the big breacher squads which is like six breachers with a dog oh they just zip around they <laughs> zip around <laughs> and they've got like a five of phenol pain three wounds of toughness seven they're just yeah. very like that's like the meta list gotcha. if that makes sense yes and i feel like you could probably fit that into this style of list if you wanted the, the, the oh, stratagems as yeah. well but uh i just want to do a bunch of skitari today yeah i might do next time i play i might take like a plane and like do oh, like i forgot a, they even had those yeah, yeah they yeah, got yeah. the bomber still and yeah. like you know a whole bunch of stuff so. all that fun stuff okay yeah, yeah. Well, I will be playing Necrons in an upcoming game. I have just the teleporting one to go and the canoptic one. So I'll plan on doing both of those upcoming. I don't know which one next. Stay tuned to find out. There will be more 40K to come. As always, leave your feedback down below what you thought about the game, uh, what you want to see. If I missed anything, please, by all means, let me know. Uh, there, it is a complicated game, and it's very easy to miss things here and there, and it's the best way to remember. And as always, I wish you all some happy war gaming, and stay tuned for more Scary and myself playing more 40K for you guys at home. Bye-bye. Happy wargaming. Yeah, that... <laughs>